in you. Repa sante kaba shanta. Ya pa sante kada zata yama. Repa zato la baganda. Ya pa zate kaba shanta. La pa zeka ma shanta la baganda. Child of God, we are stirring up the spirit. We are stirring up the scriptures. We are stirring up the word in us. So that women begin to declare through our mouths in the name of Jesus. As you pray in tongues, God shall begin to speak to you. You shall have scriptures flowing from your spirit. And you shall begin to prophesy. La Pazeka Bashanta La Baganda. Continue stirring up your spirit. Re Pazante Kabashanta. La Pazante Kabashanta. La Pazante Kamazaya. Re Pazante Kaba Shanta Laba. Ya Pazata Maganda Razata. Re Pazeta Labaganda. Lika teba santo la baganda Lepa ya ganda santa raba Repa zika bashante la baganda Holy Spirit of God Repa santa maganda ya zaya Lika teba santo la baganda Rapa zante kabashanta la baha The fire of the Holy Ghost Begin to burn within us Repa zante kabashanta Lepa zanta maganda Lift your voice unto the Lord. We are talking to our God. We are confusing the words of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus. Yakata mazanta labaha. Ripa zata la baganda ya zeka bashanta la baganda in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ repa sata maganda la pazatu rashanta le pazata maganda repa ya zika bashanta lika bazantu la baganda repa ya santu la baganda ye pazatu la bagandi ripa zeta Tama shanta, lepa sata maganda, repa zato rapa ya shanta, lapa zanta maganda, lepa ya shanta la baya zaya, lepa kata rapa santa, lapa ganda mazeta ripa, ye pasato la ba shanta, lepa ganda ya zata, rika pazida ma shanta, lepa kanda zata la ba, ye pasante kaba shanta lema, lika Teba Santa Maganda, Lepa Kanda Razaya, La Zeka Bashanta, continue pray. Continue pray in Tanza. Ya Zata Maganda Basata Laba. Lika Basantu Laba Ganda. La Pazate Kabashanta Laba Ganda. La Paya Zaya Masanta Laba Ganda. Lika Teba Santa Maganda. Le Paya Zata Magari Zada. Lipa da Zate Kabashanta. Le Papa Zata. Ya Kanda Mazata Laba. Ya Kande Basanta Magaya. Repa Satana Maganda Lika Teba Sato La Baganda Rapa Zata La Baganda Pray until you experience the fire Repa Ya Sante Maganda Repa Shato La Basata Ya Kanda Mazeta Liba Shanta Lepa Kanda Mazata Continue pray, continue pray Ya Zeka Bashanta La Pazata Maganda Zaya Lika Basantu Rapaganda Ya Kama Zeka Bashanta La Pazantu Rapa Ya Zanta Lika Basantu La Bashanta Ya Kaba Zantu La Baganda La Zeka Bashanta La Baganda We are rising in the realm of the Spirit Ya Kama Zeta Oh Jesus, ya kanda basanta laba, rapa ya zila basanto laba ganda, lika basanto laba ganda mazeta laba, rapa zata laba shanta, ya zeta magandi raba zata, lepa zato rapa ya zanta, lepa zato laba ganda, rapa zata laba shanta laba ganda. Ya zeka bashantu la baganda. Repa ya satu la baganda ya zata. 
Likapaza tu la baganda. Give us John. John 6 verse 63. John, John 6, verse 63, Bible says, It is the Spirit who gives life. The flesh profit nothing. The words that I speak to you are spirit, and they are life. The flesh profits nothing. The flesh profits nothing. I want us to pray. And we are going to control everything by our spirits. Tonight, we want to kill the flesh. The flesh affects nothing. The flesh will tell you not to pray. The flesh will limit you. But according to what Paul says, we need to kill our flesh daily. So that the spirit man may become strong. If you want your spirit to be strong, you must first kill your flesh. Hallelujah. The flesh does not understand the things of the spirit. He is an enemy of the spirit of God. And we are going to submit him. We are going to tell our flesh, you cannot deny me my right. How many people know that they can be strong in the spirit and they can submit the, the flesh. It is you to undress your flesh and tell your flesh, you cannot deny me this. If you remain silent in a time like this, the flesh shall, shall, shall oppress you, shall limit you. But if you are going to arise and tell your flesh, you can never again you can never again stop me. Hallelujah. So we are going to speak to our flesh. And you are going to tell this flesh. You can never deny me what God asked for me. And you shall crucify your flesh. By speaking to your flesh the word of God. For you know the truth. And you are going to make a covenant with your body. And you shall tell your body, obey the spirit of God. Obey what I tell you. Are we together? This is the prayer that we are going to pray. We are submitting our bodies. We are telling the body, you cannot deny me what God asks for me. Do you know that many people will not come for cash and because of their flesh? Are we together? Their spirit are willing to come, but their bodies are pushing them to bed. But if you can stand and resist your flesh, you can do the will of God. If you don't resist the flesh, the flesh will take control of you. And you will not be able to do the will of God. You will find yourself doing what the, the, the flesh tells you to do. If the flesh tells you to fornicate, you shall find yourself fornicating. But if you can stand and resist the flesh and tell the flesh you are going to obey what the spirit of God says. Then you shall control the flesh. You shall build your spirit man. Until your spirit man has more power than your flesh. Are we together? So we are going to speak to our flesh. We are going to tell the flesh. You can never again continue to limit me this way. If the flesh has been limiting you in prayer, you are going to address your body. You are going to tell the flesh, you cannot limit me in prayer. 
you cannot limit me in the studying of the word. Are we together now? So lift your hands before the Lord. I want you to undress your flesh and crucify the flesh. Tell the flesh, you can never again continue these works. You can never put me into this place. You flesh, hear the voice of God. And crucify your flesh. I want you to speak to your flesh. In the mighty name of Jesus, child of God, we can overcome everything. We can do exploits as long as we are sure that we have the word of God in us. If we can stand by the word of God and declare to the flesh that you shall never again control my spirit man. You can never again control me. I know that you are weaker than my spirit and I'm going to submit you through the word of God. I'm going to use the word of God to submit you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the flesh never again control you child of God. In the name of Jesus, speak to your flesh. You know how the flesh has been limiting you in prayer, in the study of the word. Now it is your time to crucify your flesh in the name of Jesus. Crucify the flesh. Tell the body, hear the voice of God. If the flesh has been diverting you from the way of the Lord, now speak to your flesh. Tell your flesh never again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hear the voice of God. If the flesh has been denying you the right in Christ, crucify that flesh in the name of Jesus. Repa sante kaba shanta, ya pa sante kaba shanta, le pa zanta maganda. You have not been enjoying the treasures of God because of your flesh. Le pa zanta maganda. Bible has declared to us that the flesh affairs nothing. It profits nothing. You can do nothing. La ze kaba shanta. In the flesh, you can never do the things of God. In the flesh you can never do the things of the spirit in the flesh la kada zanta le pazanto rapaganda mazata you can never walk with god in the flesh lika bazanta maganda you can never achieve anything of the spirit in the flesh in the name of jesus continue speaking to your flesh rapazata baganda mayazata Lika basantu la bashata la baganda. Yaka basata la balaba. I know that you are struggling with your flesh even now. I want you to submit your flesh. I know that your flesh tells you something. But you must command your flesh. You must command your flesh. When your flesh tells you you are tired. Command your flesh and tell your flesh. I'm going to push until morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Speak to your flesh in the name of Jesus. Lord God of glory, you have given us power in our spirits, Lord, to control our flesh. We strengthen our spirits. Now begin to pray for your spirit man. In the mighty name of Jesus. Strengthen your spirit man. I want you to pray for your spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Strengthen your spirit. Remind your spirit. What the Lord says. Speak 
now the future of your greatness in the name of Jesus. Because your spirit man can understand your language, now begin to use the word of God, the promises of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to prophesy to your spirit man in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to speak to your spirit man of where you are going in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to speak to your spirit man of what God has promised you. Remind your spirit man where God wants you in the name of Jesus. Begin to speak of 50 years to come where you want to be. Repa Santa Labaganda. Lepa Yashanta Labaganda. Remind your spirit man of what God has been speaking to you in the mighty name of Jesus. He shall rise again. Your spirit man shall be strong again because you are releasing life. The word of God is spirit. As we have read from the book of John 6, verse 63, the words that we are receiving, the word of God is spirit. As you speak to your spirit man, concerning what God says, you are strengthening your spirit. You are strengthening your spirit man. You are promising your spirit man that he shall finish well. He shall go far. He shall overcome. He shall grow strong in the mighty name of Jesus. Speak to your spirit man. Tell your spirit, you shall never be weak. You shall never be weak in the name of Jesus. Yakapa Zatalabaha. Yakanama Zeta. I want you to pray for your spirit. Your spirit has ears. Lepa Zate Kabashanta. Prophesy to your spirit through the word of God. Ya pazante kabashanta. La pazante kabashanta. Ya maganda ma yazaya. Le pazata mashanta la baganda. Re pazate kabashanta. My spirit shall be strong. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you shall be strong. Le pazata maganda. No wickedness. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are going to be strong. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak power in my spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak power in my spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare life in my spirit. La ganda, repa shata baganda, la pazata razanta, lika pazato la baganda. Continue speaking to your spirit. Tell your spirit you shall not die spiritually. Le pazante kaba. Shanta, you shall receive strength, you shall grow strong. La Zata Maganda, Repa Zato Laba Shanta, Lepa Zate Kaba Shanta. Continue strengthening your spirit, child of God. You are praying, you are praying for your spirit. Ya Zata Mazanta, La Kaba Shanta Laba Zanta. Ripa zato laba ganda ya zata laba ganda zanta ripa zato laba shanta lift your hands to heaven and pray ripa zato laba shanta ya kada zata maganda ripa zato laba shanta you shall be strong hear the voice of God hear the word of God my spirit you shall hear the word you shall receive the word you shall be strong in the mighty name of Jesus you shall be strong in the mighty name of Jesus. Shalaba Santa Laba Yakada Santa Maripa Zaya Rapa Zata Laba Shanta Labalaba Yakanda Mazita Ripa Shanta Labalaba Yakanda Mazita Ripa Shanta Labalaba in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to continue pray for your spirit. We are going to declare to our spirits that our spirits shall obey the voice of God. That our spirits shall receive the word of God. That our spirits shall desire more of the kingdom of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Your spirit knows God. I want you to pray again and declare to your spirit, you shall desire 
the things of the spirit. You shall do the will of God. You shall walk in the path of God. You shall do the will of God. You shall obey the voice of God. Rapa Zanta Baganda. My spirit shall love God. Rapa Zata Labashanta. My spirit shall obey the voice of God. My spirit shall worship God in the truth. Rapa Zante Kabashanta. Continue prophesying to your spirit man in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue prophesying to your spirit man. Tell your spirit man, you shall worship God in truth and in spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall love the things of the spirit. You shall obey the voice of God. You shall walk in the path of truth in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall obey the voice of God. You shall walk in the righteousness of God. I prophesy to my spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall be clinged to God in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall never you shall never depart from the path of truth in the mighty name of Jesus. Shakadaba Santa Labaha Rapuza Lama Shanta Labalabaha Yazeta Pariza Tayama Shanta Yakada Santa Labalaba Zanta Ripa Zanto Laba Shanta. Lastly, as we, we conclude, as we pray for our spirit man, give us. Give us Romans 8, verse 16. You can begin from verse, verse 14. We must be strong in the spirit. We will never again be weak in our spirits. We shall be strong. We can read together Romans 8. Romans 8, verse 14. The Bible says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. Verse 15, For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. Verse 16, the Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, joined heirs with Christ. If indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. Verse 14, let's go back to 14. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God for as many your spirit man must be led by the spirit of God if we are not careful then our flesh shall lead us and Bible says in the book of Proverbs 16 verse 11 Proverbs 16 verse 25 sorry that there is a way that seems to be right before the eyes of men, but that way leads to death. We must know that we need the Spirit to control our spirits so that you may walk in the way of the Lord, that you may please God alone. Amen. So we are going to pray and tell the Spirit of God to lead our spirits to control our spirits and we shall tell him that we need to agree everything with him we shall surrender our spirits to him so that he may control our lives forever amen lift your hands before the lord there is a way that seems right before men but that path that way leads to death. If we don't allow the spirit to, to lead us, 
we may find ourselves walking in the way of death. But if we allow the Spirit of God to control our spirits, we shall always walk in the path of life. Hallelujah. We shall walk in the path of life. That's why David prays this prayer in the book of Psalms 16, verse 11. Lord, show me the way of life. Show me the path of life that I may walk in the path of abundance, that I may walk in the path where I shall enjoy this life, where I shall please God by my faith, where I shall walk pleasing God, not my flesh. Show me the way. Show me the path. Hallelujah. Are we together? You will show me the path of life. In your presence is the fullness of joy. It is only the Spirit of God who can lead us to the will of God. He is the one who can show you the path of life. If you don't have the Spirit of God, you shall walk in death. But God has given us his Spirit so that he may lead us. As many as are led by the Spirit of God, those are sons of God. Let us rise on our feet. As many as are led by the Spirit of God, those are sons of God. I want you to pray and tell God, show me the path, show me the way of life, that I may walk in this path, that I may not live life of confusion, that I may not live a life that is of the enemy, but I may live the life that God, you want me to live. We are not going to allow again the flesh to control us. We are going to allow the spirit of God to lead us. The spirit of God shall lead you to the will of God, but the flesh shall lead you to death. Are we together? Lift your hands and pray. We are praying for our spirits. We need to walk in the presence of God. We need to rejoice. We need to enjoy the treasures of God by the spirit of God taking over, controlling our inner man, controlling our spirits in the mighty name of Jesus. We are telling God, we are tired of the flesh. We are tired of following the flesh. We want the spirit of God to take over and control our spirits that we may please God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We refuse to be controlled by our flesh in the name of Jesus. The flesh fails nothing. The flesh profits nothing. We are tired of the flesh. Rapa zante kaba shanta. Yapa zante kaba zanta labaganda. Pray this prayer that David prayed. Lord, show me. Show me the way. Show me the path of life, my God. If you have been walking in the path of death like Saul, I want you to pray and tell God, now show me the path. Show me the way. Show me what to do, my God. Show me the path of life that God I may please you, that God I may walk in the path of life. I refuse to walk in the path of death. Lord, show me the path of life that God I may walk in it, Lord. Repa ya shanto la baganda ya zeka ba shanto la baganda repa zate la baganda Lord show me the path lepa zate ka ba shanta repa ya zata la baganda we shall never again walk in the path of death in the mighty name of Jesus there is a way that seems to be right in the eyes of men. But this path leads to death. We are not going to allow again the flesh 
to control our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are telling the Spirit of God to lead us through the path, to show us the path of life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the presence of God, Bible tells us there is joy, there is fullness of joy. If you are going to walk in the path of life, you shall enjoy the fullness of joy of God. For Bible says where the, the Spirit of God is, there is freedom. You shall have freedom. You shall have freedom in the mighty name of Jesus. The body shall never control you. The body shall never lead you to wickedness. In the mighty name of Jesus, if the flesh has been leading you to fornication, I want you to pray and tell the Spirit of God to take over, to control, to control your body in the mighty name of Jesus. As many as are led by the Spirit of God, those are sons of God, those are children of God, your spirit man must agree with the Spirit of God that you are walking in the path of life, that you are not walking in the path of death. You must know it in the name of Jesus. We refuse to walk. We refuse to walk in the path of death. We refuse to live a life of confusion in the mighty name of Jesus. Because God has given you his spirit to control you as many as are led by the spirit of God. Those are the sons of God. Those are the sons of God. I want you to pray and tell the spirit of God to control you, to rule over you in the name of Jesus. If you are seated, rise on your feet. Pray. We are killing the flesh. We are crucifying the flesh. We can never again allow the flesh to control us. If the flesh has been limiting you not to do the will of God, not to achieve what God has put before you, you need to know that the flesh affects nothing. You must kill your flesh. You must crucify your flesh in the name of Jesus. Repa satamaganda. Repa shatalabaganda. If your flesh has been limiting you in prayer, you must kill the flesh. You must tell the flesh by in the name of Jesus. You must arise in power. You must arise in power in the mighty name of Jesus. If you have not been standing the word of God because of your flesh, you must tell your flesh you must learn now to hear my voice you must now submit to my spirit i shall study the word i shall meditate on the word day and night in the mighty name of jesus Ripazatu laba shanta. Lastly, lastly, let's go to the book of Obadiah one. Give us Obadiah one. I want us to pray for the church, and as you as you pray for the church. You shall pray for your family. Amen. The enemy is not happy with the, with, the, with, the, with the families. He knows when he attacks families, he has won the church. But we are going to be strong and we shall resist the devil. We must be strong. Hallelujah. Before we go to Obadiah, we can read Exodus 1. Exodus 1. Exodus 1, verse 12. Exodus 1, verse 12. We are growing strong in prayer. We are growing strong in the word of God. Can we read together? One, two, three. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and they grew. 
and they were in, de in dread of the children of Israel. The more they afflicted, he's talking about the Egyptians, the more they afflicted the children of Israel, the more the house of God grew stronger. Hallelujah. The more they afflicted them, the more God was strengthening them. Hallelujah. Give us Second Samuel. Then we shall pray. Second Samuel 3 verse 1. Can we read one, two, three? Now there was what? A long war between the house of Saul and the house of David. But David grew stronger and stronger. And the house of Saul grew weaker and weaker. Give us Obadiah 1, 17 and 18. Then we shall pray. Stand on your feet. Usikai chini diotunapa. To me our flesh. Amen. One, two, three. But on Mount Zion there shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness. The house of Jacob shall shall possess their possessions. Read louder, verse 18. The house of Jacob shall be a fire. And the house of Joseph shall be a flame. Hallelujah. The house of Jacob shall be fire. But the house of Joseph shall be a flame. We are talking about the latter glory of God in the church. Bible says that it shall be greater than the former. And now I want us to pray for the church and even our families. And we are going to declare that we shall be greater than we were. We are going to grow stronger. No matter how the devil tries to afflict us, God has released grace for us to increase in power, for us to increase in glory, for us to increase in the word of God. Are we together? So I want you to pray for the church. Begin with this house. Declare that JCC sit outer shall grow. No matter how the devil tries to afflict, we shall grow stronger. We have seen in the book of Exodus 1 verse 12, the more the Egyptians tried to afflict the children of Israel, the end of the Lord was upon them and they multiplied. They grew stronger. Hallelujah. The more Saul tried to afflict David, the end of the Lord was upon them. David and David grew stronger more than Saul and now Bible tells us in the book of Obadiah that the house of Joseph shall be a flame the latter glory must be greater than the former are we together you are going to be stronger than you were we are rising no matter how the devil tries to arise we are moving higher because the glory of God as shown in our lives. Isaiah 60 verse 1. Bible tells us. Arise and shine. For the glory of God. Has come. Lift your hands before the Lord. I want you to pray. With this understanding. That God is strengthening you. Your glory must be greater. Than the, the, than the latter. You must be stronger in prayer. You must be stronger in the word of God. No matter how the devil tries to afflict you. Tell the devil, I shall be stronger than you think. I shall be stronger than you think. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Arise now and shine, child of God. I want you to pray for your life. I want you to pray for the church. I want you to pray for the for your family in the name of Jesus. And tell the devil, we are going to grow stronger. We are going to arise. For we are flames. We are flames of fire. 
God has released his glory. God has released his power. We are growing stronger in the mighty name of Jesus. The more the devil afflicts your family, the more you are rising, the more you are growing stronger in prayer, the more the devil tries to attack you. God shall strengthen you. God shall give you power. You shall overcome, child of God. The more the devil tries to pull you down, the more God lifts you up, the more God gives you power. You shall be head. You shall be head but not tail. You are rising up, child of God. The latter glory must be greater than the former. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are rising. We are rising in the name of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray for the church. Pray for Jesus. Is it out? Pray that the glory of God may shine brighter. Pray that God may strengthen us. No matter how the devil tries to fight us, tries to afflict us, the end of the Lord shall be with us. The Lord shall strengthen us. The Lord shall multiply us. He shall strengthen us. He shall strengthen us. He shall give you speed anointing. We shall overcome. We shall overcome children of God. Rapa Santa Laba. Yepa Sante Kaba Shanta. The more they afflicted the children of Israel, the more God, the more God multiplied them, and they were afraid of them. Yakaba Santa Labaganda. Our enemies must be afraid of us because we know that our God is on our side. The enemy shall know that we are rising. We are growing stronger. We are growing stronger like David. Yapa Santa Labashanta. The weak shall be like David. We are growing stronger. We are growing stronger in prayer. We are growing stronger in the word. Yapa Zatera Mashanta. Repa Santu Labaganda. We are becoming flames. We are becoming flames of fire. Child of God pray Repa Santa Maganda your family is becoming a flame Repa Santa Maganda you are becoming a flame you are becoming a threat before the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus we are becoming threads. We are becoming threads in the name of Jesus. We are becoming threads. La zeka bashanta la baganda. Repa satu la bashanta. Ye maganda riazaya. Ye pasatu la bashanta. Re maganda razata. Re pasata la baganda. Pray for your family. Your family shall be strong. Your family shall be strong. Rima zata maganda. Re our church shall be strong in these last days. We are going to overcome. We are going to grow stronger. We are going to grow stronger in the mighty name of Jesus. The more they afflict us in this city, the more we shall be strong. The more we are arising, the more they shall see us grow in the mighty name of Jesus. The more they shall see the glory of God. Rapa Santa Maganda, Rapa Satu Rashanta, the glory of God, the glory of God is risen about, is risen on you, child of God. Rapa Santa Mashanta, you are strong, you are strong in the name of Jesus. Shadamaya Zata Laba, Yakadaba Santa Laba Shanta, the latter glory shall be greater than the former. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Ripa Zata Bashanta Labaganda, Yazeta Bashanta Baganda, our families shall be strong in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise and worship team, you can join me. Yakaba Sata Labashanta Laba, Yakanda Mazita Ripa Yazata, Yakada Basanto Labashanta Labaganda, Yekazato Rapa Zata Laba.
We are growing strong. We are growing strong in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They shall try to afflict us, but the Lord shall multiply us. The Lord shall strengthen us. The Lord shall lift our heads in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are not going down. We are going higher in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our God is our strong shield. Repa zata mashanta. Repa yaganda mazeta rabashanta. Lapa zata maganda razata. Repa Zato Rapaya Zanta Yakanda Mazeta Rapa Santa Lepa Zanta Maganda Bazata. Our families are going to increase in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rapa Zanta Maganda. Our churches are going to grow strong in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are going to grow strong. We are going to multiply in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. We glorify your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Rise on your feet. Glorify your name. Glorify your name. Glorify your name. He know the earth. Glorify your name. Glorify your name. Glorify your name. He know the Glorify your name. Glorify your name. Lift your hands before the Lord. Glorify your name. He knows the glory of God shall cover our lives. I want us to lift our hands before the Lord. Let us recognize him as our, our great I am. Our great God. Our helper. Our strength. Our creator. Let his name be glorified in this city tonight. Let the Spirit of God move mightily tonight as we worship the Lord. Open up your heart. Desire from Him. Thank you, Jesus, Son of God. Just thank Him. Holy Spirit of God. Lord, move mightily tonight. Lord, show your glory in the house tonight. Glorify your name, Lord, in this place. Glorify, Lord, your name in the streets of Nairobi. Glorify your name, Lord Jesus, in this city. Yagada Santa Bashanta Labalaba, Yakanda Bazante Ripa Zata Labaganda, Yepa Sata Yamagandi Basantu Rabashanta, Yapaya Zata Labaya Santu Labaganda, just pray in tongues Lageta Rabazata, Repa Yabashanta Labaya Bazata Laba, Yakama Zeta Ripa Yazantu Laba, Yakaba Santa Labagandi Bazanta, 
Ripa zate bashanta la baganda. Lord Nairobi belongs to you, God. Ya pazate kana bashanta la baha. Ya zeka bashanta la baganda. We silence the voices of darkness. We declare the name of the Lord. It's our stone tower. Tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare the name of the Lord. We declare the name of the Lord tonight. Ripa zate kaba shanta. Bwana umenuliwa. Umenuliwa usiku wa leo bwana. Oh Jesus. Ripa zata la bashanta la ba. Ya zida ba la bashanta la ba la ba. Oh Jesus we love you. In Jesus name we have prayed. Can we celebrate Jesus? Hallelujah. Mtu amshe yule brother amelala pale mwambie amke. Hapo sio bedroom mwambie amke hapo. Hallelujah. Hakuna mtu analala kanisani. Amen. Choir are you ready? Take over. Hallelujah. We bless your name, King of Glory. Come on, somebody, just worship the Lord this night. Just keep on thanking the Lord for his goodness and mercies that are yours forever. Father, we bless your holy name, King of Glory. Come and take over, my Father. La kaba zike te de 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 ya la la ba zika le pa do shi na ma se ka ta la 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 ra le ka do zi te de de shi da ba so ka ta la la come on somebody just speak in the language of the spirit ah shi na ma se ke te de de le 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 ba zi ah la ka de ba shi na 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 le ke se ta la 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 ba zane ra na ma si ke te le le ba zane la ka da la Father, we bless your holy name this night, King of glory. Thank you, my Father, for giving us the chance to be found in your presence. Lord, you reign above all, King of glory. Jehovah Nisi is your name, King of glory. Jehovah Rapha is your name, King of glory. We bless you, your name, King of glory. Come and take over, my Father. Holy Spirit, come and take over. La paso tala la basani, shina mase ke te le 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 basia, rakada base kana mazani. We bless you, King of Glory. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your holy name. You are worthy. You are worthy, King of Glory. Mi mi si we si. Jumbo lo lo te be the way yes you me me see where's he Jumbo lo lo te be the way Yeah. 
Jesus. 
worship the Lord I might have shout hallelujah 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 somebody clap for Jesus hallelujah 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 come on just clap for Jesus one more time hallelujah hallelujah Jua aliye mwamba aliye niokoa ni bwana Yesu niramtua aliye mwamba aliye niokoa ni bwana Yesu come on somebody clap for Jesus
praise the Lord once again. Mwambie jirani yako bado hatujamsifu Mungu. Ilikuwa ni introduction. Hallelujah. Nataka tunapoenda kumsifu Bwana. Just feel kama uko kwa nyumba ya baba yako, usikae kama mgeni. Ambia jirani yako usikae kama mgeni katika nyumba ya baba yako. Ama kuna mgeni katika yetu. Napenda venye Yesu aliuliza, "Don't you know how I'm supposed to be my in my father's house?" Just ask your neighbor so. Don't you know? Uliza jirani yako, "Don't you know I am supposed to be my father's house?" Are you in your father's house? Are you in your father's house? Are you sure? Are you sure you are in your father's house? Usibasi usilegelege. Hallelujah. Maandiko yanasema amelaaniwa anayefanya kazi ya Bwana kwa mikono iliyolegea. Kufanya kazi ya Bwana is just serving the Lord. When you are serving the Lord, you are doing the works of the Lord. Hallelujah. The only purpose to be in this place is just serving the Lord. Give the Lord the shout. Just worship the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Just release yourself. Hakuna president ya hapa katika mbele za Mungu. Hakuna mwalimu hapa. There is no any boss here. Sawa? Naomba twende tukamsifu Bwana kwa mioyo yote iliyovunjika, iliyonyenyekea mbele za Mungu. We are the servants of the Lord, we are the sons of God. Ambia jirani yako wewe si mfanyakazi wa Mungu. Wewe si mfanyakazi wa Mungu. Wewe si mtendakazi wa Mungu. We are the sons of God. We must behave as if we are in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is here. Make a joyful noise to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you believe the Lord is here, make a joyful noise to Jesus. Hallelujah. Ubariki we milele. Fadhili za koni za milele Utukuzwe umetenda mema baba Ainua mikono yako mpe bwana baraka usiku wale Mwambie bwana ubarikiwe milele twende Ubarikiwe milele Fadhili za koni za milele Aha Nataka kusikia sauti zenu jamani Tenda ubariki wa milele Aha Tena tena Hallelujah shangilia Yesu Hallelujah haya twende twende piga Yesu makofi Piga Yesu makofi ya juu twende Ele 
kama wako waliona nguvu duniani wezilinganishwa na wewe bwana haya pigia yesu makofi kama una mimi na kuna kama ye pigia yesu
wa kufanana na Yesu. Yeye ni wa milele siku zote. Haya twende. Hakuna wa kufanana na Yesu. Hakuna wa Unasaili kuambudiwa Unasaili we Yesu Unasaili kuambudiwa Unasaili bwana wa mabwana Unasaili kuambudiwa Unasaili we Yesu Unasaili kuambudiwa
Roa bwana twakwali kauta wale karibu ro fanya mapenzi ya bwana karibu ro fanya mapenzi ya bwana karibu ro Deuteronomy 30 Deuteronomy 30 verse 19 Deuteronomy 30 verse 19 to 20 Bible says I call heaven and earth as witnesses today against you that I have said before you life and death blessing and cursing Therefore choose life that both you and your descendants may live that you may love the Lord your God that you may obey his voice and that you may cling to him for he is your life and the length of your days and that you may dwell in the land which the lord sworn to your fathers to abraham to isaac to jacob to give to them hallelujah bible says in the book of proverbs 8 verse 17 that god loves those who love him and those who seek him diligently shall find him he loves those who love him and here bible tells us that he calls heaven and the earth as witnesses against his people that we may decide whether to walk in the path of life or the path of death and he tells us that you may love the lord your god and you may uh, you may obey his voice bible tells us that god has given us his spirit that the spirit of god may lead us to the life that god has given us that we may not find ourselves walking in the path of death but he has told us that what he has given us is good life he tells us therefore choose life hallelujah i want us to pray that god of heaven the one who has given us life the one who has told us to choose life because he knows that when we choose life we live there is life in god outside god there is no life but god has already told us that we need to choose life but i want you to know that god will not force you to choose life it is you to make your own decision from your heart bible tells us that he loves those who love him when you love him yesterday in grace hour i showed people who were in grace hour that when we give ourselves to god and love god it takes us to the path of life where we find the fountains of life and then our eyes are able to see the light of god and we are able to enjoy the grace of god if your eyes cannot see the love of god if you don't love god child of god you can never walk in the path of life you can never walk in the path of life but if your eyes can see the love of god and love god 
then you are able to obey the voice of God. You are able to click to God. And you are able to walk in the path of life. Are we together? Love God with your heart. And God shall take you through the path of life. And for sure you shall find the fountains of life. You shall drink from it and you shall live. I want us to pray for our hearts again that we may love our God. We don't love God with our lips. We love God with our hearts. In the book of Proverbs 23, verse 20, 26, give us Proverbs. Proverbs 23, verse 26. Bible says, my son, give me your heart and let your eyes observe the way. Give me your heart and let your eyes observe the path of life. Give me first your heart. Love me first. Then you shall obey my voice and you shall click to me and we shall walk together. Give me your heart. When you read the book of 2 Corinthians 6 verse 17. All the way to 18. God tells us separate yourself. After you have loved me. Now separate yourself from the world. And I shall receive you. Then you shall be my sons and my daughters. And I shall become your father. Then we shall walk together in this journey. We shall flow together. So we are going to pray for our hearts. That our hearts may begin to love the Lord. God will never show you his secrets. If you don't love him. Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy 29. Verse 29. That all secrets belongs to our God. But those things that are revealed are for us and our children. If you want to see and if you want to enjoy the secrets of God, first give God your heart. My son, give me your heart and let your eyes observe the path of life and you shall live. Hallelujah. You shall never die. If you shall walk in the path of life, you shall drink from the fountains of life and your eyes shall see the secrets of God. I want us to rise on our feet. We are going to pray again for our hearts. That we may not love God with our lips. That we may love our God with our hearts. Give me your heart, child of God. This is what God says. That I have given you life. Choose life. Walk in the path of life. And you shall not die. Give me your heart. Love me from your heart. I love those who love me. And those who shall seek me, they shall find me. You cannot seek God with your lips. You need to give God your heart. You need to tell God, here I am. I have given you my heart. Show me the path. This is what David says in the book of Psalms. 16 verse, verse 11. Give us this scripture. I want us to pray. I don't know why God is leading us through this path. Because many people don't know God. We pretend to know him. We pretend to love him. Yet our hearts are far from God. Bible says, this is David. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are the pleasures forevermore. God, you will show me the path of life because you yourself, you cannot see the path if God does not show you. Show me the path of life. After you have given God your heart, God shall take you to the path and he shall tell you this is the path. Remember what Bible says in the book of Isaiah. 
You shall hear my voice behind you calling you my son. This is the path. I want us to pray for our hearts. Lift your hands before the Lord. Surrender your heart to God. Give God your heart. That we may know God. Bible says that God loves those who love him. If you don't love God, he does not love you. If you have not given God your heart, God will never give you his heart. You will never know the secrets of the heart of God. If we don't give God our hearts, we will never know the secrets. All secrets belongs to God. But those things that God has revealed to men, they are for them and their children. If you want to know the secrets of God, begin to seek the heart of God. Give God your hearts. Love God with your hearts. Obey the voice of God. Click to God your creator. And God shall take you through the path of life. You shall know God your creator. You shall be strong in your salvation. You shall begin to do exploits. Because God has begun to reveal his secrets to you. Pray for your heart, child of God. Yapa Santu Laba Shanta Labaganda Yarapa Santa Laba Shanta Lord Jesus Lord touch our hearts Rema Ganda Maya Zata Laba Repa Santo Lama Shanta Tell God to take away the art of a stone and give you the art of flesh that you may know God that you may know the way of the Lord that you may walk through the path of life in the mighty name of Jesus, that you may, you may enter to your place where you shall find the, the fountains of life. Psalms 36, verse 9. In him are fountains of life, and in your light we see light. If you want to see the light of God, then you need to know it is only through the path of life that you shall find the fountains and your eyes shall begin to see the promises of God. Your eyes shall begin to see the light of God. You shall begin to know the secrets of God. You shall begin to know the truth of God. If you shall find the fountains of life, child of God, you shall begin to enjoy the treasures of God on the right hand of God. This is what David was seeking. He was seeking to know the path of life that he may walk through this path and he may find the fountain. He may find the fountains of life where he could drink in the name of Jesus. There is life in the fountain. There is life in the fountains of life of God. Lord, help us to walk through this path. Lord, help us to walk through the path. Lord Jesus, separate us, Lord. Yakada maya zida ba shata laba. Yakada ba santa laba ganda. Father, help us to love you. Help us to love you, King Jesus. Lord, we shall love you with all our hearts, with all our minds. We shall love God with all our souls. In the mighty name of Jesus, we shall love God with all our hearts. We shall love God with all our minds. We shall love God with our souls. We shall love God. We shall love God. We shall obey the voice of God. We shall obey the voice of God. Remember what Bible says in the book of Exodus 23 verse 20. That I have sent an angel before you. I have sent my angel before you. For I have prepared a place for you. But you need to obey the voice of my angel. That the angel may lead you. The angel may lead you through the path. Repa Santa Maganda. Obey the voice of the angel of the Lord. Not the voice of the angel. You shall obey the voice of the angel. And the Lord shall take you to your blessing. Oh Jesus. 
ya kadaba santa laba rapa zata laba shanta laba tell god to teach you his voice ya kanda mazita laba pray 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 lazika bashanta lepa zata laba ganda we need to know the voice of god we need to know the voice of his angels rapa zaka mashanta laba Rapa ya zila ma ya ganda ya kana mazata laba repo zata ya mashanta in the mighty name of Jesus shata bazanta laba repa zata magada zata laba show me the path of life show me the path of life king Jesus show me the path of life bible says in psalms 25 verse 11 all the paths of the Lord are mercy and the truth. To such as, as keep his covenant and his testimony. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and the truth. I want us to pray and tell God to show us mercy. To show us mercy. Just pray for the mercy of the Lord. Just pray for the truth of God. Just pray that you may find mercy. He says all the paths of the Lord are mercy and the truth. Pray that God may show you mercy. That you may find mercy. Rapa zata laba shanta. Yaka basanto laba ganda. That your heart may find mercy. Rape zaka laba shanta. That God may release his mercy upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. That your heart may know the truth of God. Rapa santa la maganda. All the paths of God are mercy and the truth. Let our hearts know the truth of God. Rapa santa maya zata. Yaka basanta la maganda. Repo zaya mashanta. We must know the truth of God. It is only the truth of God that shall set us free. Yapa zate kaba shanta yama. Ya repa ya ya shanta la baganda. Lima zate yama shanta la baganda. Repa satu la maganda rizata. We shall walk in the path of righteousness. We shall walk as sons of God. We shall walk in the path of life. We refuse to walk in the path of death. Rema zata la baganda. Bible says in the book of Proverbs. There is a way that seems to be right before the eyes of men. But this path leads men to death. Ramaganda razata. Kuna mambo ambayo. Yamekua ya kipendeza macho yako. Lakini ni uongo wa shetani. Shetani yamekua kikuelekeza kwa kifo. Nataka uombe. Umuambia shetani. Sasa nimejua ukweli. I know the path of God is mercy and the truth. I will never again walk in death. I will never again walk in this perverse path in the name of Jesus. Yakapa Santa Lama. Repa Santa Laba Shanta. Lepa Zante Lama Yazaya. Repa Zanta. You will never again. You will never again believe the lies of the devil. You are going to walk through the path of life. You are going to walk through the path of life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say no to an ungodly way. Rapa Santa Maganda. Turn away. Rapa Santa Maganda. Repa Santa Laba Shanta. Lepa Santa Maganda. Yay. Rapa Santa Laba. Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians, separate from them and I shall accept you and you shall be my sons and my daughters. I shall be your father. Ya maganda razata It is you to make your choice To leave the path of death And walk through the path of life Choose life Ya kadazida bayaba Ya kabazata bashanta laba Rapazate kabashanta laba ganda Ye pazata magande bazatu rapazata Ya pazata maganda mayazita laba Repa zata bashanta la baganda. La pazika bashanto rapa ya zata. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ripa zata maganda. I want you to pray this as we conclude Psalm 17 verse 5. Bible says, 
Uphold my steps in your paths, that my footsteps may not slip. I repeat again. Uphold my steps in your path, that my footsteps may not slip. I want us to pray according to this verse. That we are telling God, the Spirit of God, to uphold, to uphold our steps in the path of God. That we may never again walk in the path of death. Let God lead us. Let God go with us. Lift your hands. Let God monitor our steps. Lift your hands before the Lord. Just talk to your God. And tell God, uphold my steps in your path that my footsteps may not slip, that I may not find myself again walking in the path of death. Lord, uphold my footsteps. Uphold my footsteps, O God. Yapa zanta magada zatalaba. Repa zate pala santa maganda. Yapa zate pala mashanta labaganda. Pray for your feet. Your feet shall never, never again lead you to darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Repa zate bashanta. Yama gande bazayama. Repa zate bashanta. Pray for your feet. Rema zatu la maganda. Yepa zate la bashanta. Yapa zate la maganda. Repazata, pray for your sensitivity in the mighty name of Jesus. Ramagande Bazata, Repazata la Bashanta, we shall know spirits. Rimagande Bazata, we shall know voices in the mighty name of Jesus. Ramagaya Zata, Lepazata Bashanta, Yamaganda Ribazata, Buana to Kajue, Giazako Buana, to Kajue Sautiako Buana. Bwana, tukajue bwana sauti yako tukajue njia zako bwana tukatembe katika njia zako yes lord yes lord Yakaba Santa Maganda, Repa Zata Mashanta Labaganda, Lema Yagadepa Zata Labashanta, Yarapa Zeta Labashanta. In the name of Jesus, we bless you, Father. We give you all the glory. Oh, Jesus, we desire to know you. We desire to know you, Jesus. Oh, thank you. Stand on your feet. Oh, Jesus, thank you. We need to know the way of the Lord. We need to know the voice of Jesus. He shall uphold our footsteps. Lift your hands before the Lord. We desire to know the path of life. We desire to know God. We desire to love Jesus with our hearts, with our minds, with our souls. Nikujue, nikuabudu, nikuabudu, nikuelewe, nikuelewe, nikuabudu, nikuabudu, nikufahamu, nikufahamu, nikuabudu, nikuabudu, nikujue. Osiah 10 verse 12. Bible says, sow for yourselves righteousness, then you shall reap mercy. Break up your fallow ground, 
for it is time to seek the Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to tell your heart, it is time to seek the Lord. It is time to love the Lord. You shall love the Lord and you shall seek him and you shall find him. Are we together? You shall love the Lord. Then you shall seek him and you shall find the Lord. For one minute, I want you to lift your hand. Agree with the Spirit of God that the time to seek the Lord has come. The time to know the Lord has come. The time to love the Lord has come. The time to seek the Lord has come. I love those who love me. And those who shall seek me diligently, they shall find me. I want you to tell Jesus, I shall love you and I shall find you. I shall, Lord, seek you. Lord, I shall love you. Lord, I shall seek you. May I find you, Lord, in my generation. May I know you, God, in my generation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, may my heart know you. Lord, may my soul know you. May my spirit know you. In the mighty name of Jesus. As we have read in the book of Deuteronomy 30 verse 20. You shall love the Lord your God. And you shall obey his voice. And you shall click to your God. And then he shall take you to your place. Where he promised your fathers. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the promise is true. Child of God, there is a place. And I want to assure you, God has assured us, I have sent before you an angel. You shall not miss the path, my sons. You shall not miss the place because I have sent before you an angel to go before you because there is that place where I promise my sons, where I promise your fathers, now walk through this path. Now begin to love me. Begin to obey my voice. Click to me, my sons, and you shall end up. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lord, we shall love you. Lord, we shall love you. Jesus, we shall love you. Lord, we shall seek you, Lord. Lord, because the time to seek you has come. May we find you, Jesus. May we find your mercy. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. And all God's people celebrate the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Choir, you can take over. Father, we declare that we love you. We declare our everlasting love for you. Jesus, we declare that we love you. We declare our everlasting love for you. Say to Father, Father, we declare we love that we love you. We declare our everlasting love for you. And say to Father, Father, we declare.
celebrate Jesus if we love you. Hallelujah, Jesus, we love you. Hallelujah, celebrate Jesus once more. Hallelujah. Sifu buwaina, sifu buwaina daima. Moyo wangu, sifu buwaina daima. Sifu buwaina, sifu buwaina daima. Moyo wangu, sifu buwaina daima. Haipa Jesu adake ya makofi. Pigia Yesu makofi, makofi.
worship you, Jesus. You deserve all the glory. You deserve all the honor. Just worship the Lord tonight. He is worthy. You are worthy, Lord. You are wonderful, Jesus. She lama, she hende ribo, zi andara mabosa. Ribo, she katala mabosi kaya, la mabosa. Ri hende ribo, she andara mabosi kaya, la mabosa. Moyo wangu imesifazako. Moyo wangu kutukuze milele yote. Moyo wangu kuimidi milele yote. Ri katala ma, she hende ribo, she andara mabosa. Ri katala mabosa te. Hakuna kama wewe. Yes, una stahili. Una stahili sifa za moyo wangu. Mwambie Bwana unastahili sifa za moyo wangu. Sifa hizi zote ni zako. You deserve the glory Lord. Shikatala maboshi heneribo. Rikatala mabozi kayala mabozi ante. Mm. We bless you Jesus. Mm. Let your name be glorified. We give you glory. Hey, the owner, you are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. Just to worship Jesus tonight. We give your glory, Jehovah. You are the Lord. There is no other God beside you. You deserve all. You deserve all the glory. You are the Lord. You are the Lord.
worship the Lord. If your sister just stand and worship me. Worship the Lord this night. I want you to focus on Him. Please ensure the keyboard is a little low. I want you to focus on Him. And I want to assure you as we worship, He's going to take care of everything. He's going to take care of your mess. This is why we have come into this house. Because He's our only hope. He's our only trust. He's our life. In Him we live. In Him we move. In Him our life exists. And I want us to focus on Him this night. The Bible says in Him everything holds together. Oh my Jesus, I don't know what is happening around you. But I want you to know in Him everything holds together. And as you surrender to Him, His healing power, His divine power is, is penetrating into every situation, into every circumstance. Just lift your hand and worship Him. This is where you have come. I can't help you. Nobody can help us. It is only God. Nobody knows our sorrow. It is only God. Somebody refuses to be comforted. My Jesus. Ah, shalalaba. We cannot help you. It is only God. Bwana ndiye msaidizi wetu. Tunayainua macho yetu. Tunayonesha milimani. Oh, maseketa raba saya. I lift up my eyes from hands. Does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord. My help comes from the Lord. I lift up my eyes from hands. Does my help come from? And I declare this night, regardless of every opposition, regardless of every barrier, regardless of every limitation, I declare this night that my help comes from the Lord. That my help. Masakatarabaganda. Repa kataraba saya. Repa papa shande reba. Repa soko taraba. Repa katariba yanda. Ay, 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 ay. This is why we are here tonight. This is why we are here tonight. We know our God. We know Him that we have believed. Le kataraba saya. Jekujambo Zikata la babo shana Jekuna jambo yeye asiloliweza We declare the power of God We declare the help of God 
Mazeketarabakana. The Bible says uh, that the name of the Lord uh, is a strong tower. The righteous, uh, the righteous uh, run to it uh, and they are saved. Uh, and this night uh, we have ran uh, into the name of Jesus. Uh, Mazeketarabakana. The righteous. Ay, 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 ay. The righteous run to it. Let there be deliverance tonight. Let there be salvation tonight. We are free from every bondage. We are free from every, every limitation. Masiketarabakada. Zantolobo Shandaraba. Rima Zakataraba Ganda. Reba Kanto Robo Saya. Someone focus with God tonight. Sisi ya tuwezi kusaidia. Lakini mungu anaeza kusaidia. Mungu wetu anaeza saidia mtu yeyote. Yeye aoneshi mapende leo. Yeyote atakaili itia. Jina la buwana. There is a promise of God. They shall be delivered. Whosoever, whosoever shall call on the name of Jesus, they shall be delivered. <laughs> Jesus. Bwana hatuna tumaini bila wewe. What is our life without you, Lord? What can we do? What can we accomplish on our own? Where is our strength without you? Where is our ability without you? We are nothing, God. We are nothing. Oh, my Jesus. My God. We need you more in our lives. We need you more. My Jesus. We cannot without you, Lord. My Jesus, at wezi bila wewe, basha la la ba, basha la 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 ba. Trust in the Lord, for in Him there is everlasting strength. Basha la la ba, basha la 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 ba. Oh, my Jesus. Bwana, atuja kuja kutimiza dini. Atuja kuja kutimiza dini, Bwana. Wengi wetu tunamahitaji. Wengi wetu tunahitaji usaidizi wako. Bwana, atuweshi bila wewe. Atu yuko hapa kwa sababu ya dini bwana. We love you our God. We hope in you our King. We trust in you our Lord. Without you we cannot. My Jesus, oh my Lord. Bila wewe atuwezi bwana Asha kai apana atuwezi We have no power of our own We have no ability of our own How can we continue to build you an altar in the city unless you help us how can we continue to stand in the city Lord unless you help us oh God my Jesus my Jesus Makatarabaganda Bwana angalia wengi wetu Tumebeba miziko mizito Lakini tumekuja kwa sababu kuna ahadi 
ya kwamba njooni kwangu enyi nyote wenye mizigo misito na nitawapumzisha Bwana si ukatupumzisha si ukatuingize katika pumziko lako Bwana wengine wamebeba mizigo kwa muda mrefu wengine wamekukaja kwa muda mrefu Mungu wangu na baba yangu For how long oh God For how long oh God My Jesus My Jesus My Jesus oh Lord Sha la 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 ba Le ba bo shande re ba yanda Re ba bo shande re 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 bo sa Re ba kanto ro bo shanda Re ba kanto ro bo sa Re ba kanto re ba yanda Ra ba kanto ro bo shanda Father for how long we say wait for you and deliver us for how long oh god re ba kanto ro bo shanda my jesus how long will your people be mocked how long will your people be ashamed oh god my father my god how long shall it go on my jesus my jesus oh in my sharabayanda rebayando roboshanda for how long lord my god for how long <laughs> shall your people wait for deliverance <laughs> my jesus <laughs> my jesus we pray tonight oh my god raba boshanda raba sa We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Bwana, sisi hatuna tumaini bila wewe. Maisha yetu ni bure bila wewe, Bwana. Hatujui tutafanya nini bila wewe. Uwepo wako nguvu zako ndio zimetufikisha hapa my jesus we worship you lord shalala bakando robo sikare bayanda raba bo shanta raba yanda Reba kanto robo shende rebo sa Rada do shanda rama yande rebo sa Mazente re 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 bo sa Father
Just pour your heart. This is where our deliverance is. Hatuja kuja kutimiza dini bwana. Tunajua wewe ni msaada wetu. Tunatambua wewe ni Mungu wetu. Tunatambua wewe ni nguvu zetu. Tunatambua wewe ni uwezo wetu. Tunatambua bila wewe hatuwezi. Ah Bwana hatutaki dini. Ni wewe ambaye tunatamani. Ni wewe tu, ni wewe tu Bwana. Mazaka taraba ganda. Rederebo shanderererebo sa. Rebabo shanderebo sa. Rebabo shanderererebo sa. Mazekete reba kando robo sa. Repa pa pa shandereba sa. My Jesus, le kanto robo sa. Mazaka taraba bushanda, reba kanto raba busa, reba kanto robo zikare mayanda, rede bushanda raba raba za, reba kanto raba yanda, reba kanto robo zikare mayanda, raba bushata raba. Reba bo shataraba Reba bo shataraba Reba bo shataraba Reba bo shataraba raba Reba bo shataraba raba zaya Reba kando robo sikare mayanda Reba kanto robo sikare mayanda Reba bo shendere de buzia Reba yantere de buzaya Reba kanto robo sikare mazaya Reba kanto robo sikare mayanda Rapa Zente reba yanda, repa kanto robo sika reba yandi, rapo shente reba zaya, rapa kata raba zaya, repa kanta raba yanda, repa kanta raba busaya, repa kanta raba bushanda raba, repa kanto robo sika reba zaya, repa kanto robo shente rede busaya, rapo se kente Reba za, rapa kato robo si karima za, repa kata raba yanda, repa kato robo si karima za, repa kato rema shanda, repa zonte rede busia, rapa kato robo si karima za, repa kato robo shanda, zente reba kando reba za, repa kata raba za, repa Rapa kanto robo sikare maza. Rapa kanto robo sente rede bazia. Rapa kanto robo sikaya taraba. Rapa kante rede bushanda raba. Rapa kati raba sia. Rapa kante rede bushikaraba kani. Rapa zonta raba kani rede dada. Zente rede rede bushaya. Rapa kante rede rede bushanda. Rapa kanto robo Sika reba sa repa kata raba baba sia repa kanto robo sika reba sa zaka taraba yanda repa zanta raba busa repa kanto robo sika reba sa repa kata raba yanda repa zente rede busa raba busa taraba repa kata raba sa repa kanto robo sika reba sa rede kanto robo sika reba sa reta kanto robo sinta raba repa zente we worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. He is our God. He is our God. Our Redeemer liveth. Our Redeemer liveth. 
We are not without hope. We are not without help. Our Redeemer liveth. He does not matter whatever surrounds us. We declare tonight our Redeemer liveth. It does not matter the opposition in the city. Our Redeemer liveth. It does not matter the attacks we face, the temptation we face. We declare tonight our Redeemer live it. It does not matter. The attacks we declare our Redeemer live it. It does not matter. The sickness and the disease we declare tonight our Redeemer live it. Our Redeemer live it. Our Redeemer live it. Masiki Taraba Repaka Taraba Repaka Taraba Yana my Jesus, our Redeemer liveth. Our Redeemer liveth. We are not a people without hope. We put our hope again on Jesus. We put our faith again on our God. We believe in you, Father. Whatever has not worked, we affirm our faith again. We affirm our confidence. We affirm our hope. We affirm again that you are our God. You are our maker. You are our blesser. You are our fighter. You are the Lord that fights for us. You are the Lord that lifts our hand. You are the Lord that gives us strength. We are from your position. And we declare we are the apple of the Lord's eye. We are your apple, Lord. Whoever touches us, they talk with you, Lord. Whoever messes up with us, they mess with you, Lord. We are king of farmer. Touch not the anointed of the Lord. Touch not the anointed of the Lord. Maziketa rabayanda. Repakata rabayanda. Repapapashanda. Repasente rebozaya. We give you praise. Rabakanto robosa. Rebakanto rebayanda. Rebabo sente rebazaya. Rapaso conta rabayanda. Repaso conta rebasa. Repacanto rebasa. Repacanto remayanda. Rapaze careba canto robosa. Repaze caraba rabacando. Repaso conta rabayanda. Remaze careba cando robosa. Remazo conta rabaraba rabacando. Redebo shande rebosa. Rabacanto robosa. Repacanto robosanda. Repacanto robosa. Remazo conta rabayanda. Remaze terebayanda. Remaze carebayanda. Rapas o conta rabayanda, repas on tereba cane, rapas on tarima yanda, repa canto robosa, repa canto robosica riba yanda, le canto robosa, rempas on talaba yande, le canto lobosica riba za, lentelele masia, lempas enterere bosa. Repa canto robo si caraba. Repa canto robo sa. Repa canto robo si caraba. Shatala la 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 canto robo si caraba. Zenderere shana. Leba canto robo sente reba sa. Mazoko taraba sa. Repa shala la la ba. Le paso conta la ba canto robo sia. Re paso conta re de bosa. Zato lobo si caraba canto robo. Boy you are so to God. Mashala la ba. Mashala la la ba canto robo sa. 
Zikatolobo sikareba kando. Rapaso kontere de bosa. We are not without hope. We are not a hopeless people, Lord. You are our God. You are our King. You are our Maker. You are our Life. Maziketa Rabakanda. The Redeemer is my husband. The Lord is my husband. Le canto robo sikare maza. He's my father. He's my everything. Rapa kato lobo sikare bayana. Repa zontere de bushanda. Rapa so konta rabayani. Repa kata rabaza. Repa kato lobo sikare bayana. Rapa zeke tarabayana. Repa so konta rabaza. My Jesus, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Be la we we yesu. Si we si. Be la we we bona. Si we.
Let's celebrate the King of Glory this morning. We celebrate Him. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus Psalms 42 verse 2, 3, 4 and 5 Psalms 42 verse 2, 3 Okay, let's begin verse 1 As the deer pants for the water brooks so my soul pants for you O God my soul fast for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? Verse 3. I want you to underline it. My tears have been my food day and night. While they say to me all day long, where is your God? I'm reading a different version, sorry. My tears have been my food day and night while they continually say to me, where is your God? Verse 4. Verse 4. These things I remember and I pour out my soul within me. For I used to go along with the throne and lead them in procession to the house of God with a voice of joy and thanksgiving. A multitude, sorry. When I remember this thing, I pour out my soul within me. For I used to go with a multitude. I went with them to the house of God with a voice of joy and praise with a multitude that Kept a pilgrim feast. Verse 5. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. Praise the Lord. Verse 6. O my God, Verse 6. Oh my God, my soul is cast down within me. Therefore, I will remember you from the land of the Jordan and from the heights of Ammon, from the hill Mizar. From Mount Mizar. Praise Jesus. Church, I want to emphasize verse 3 and 4. Because, you see, we do not come for fun. And we do not come religiously. Praise the Lord. Please, uh, I want to ask all of us to stand. Ensure your neighbor is standing. Even the one that is dozing off. There are people that are still seated back there. Praise the Lord. We have come into the presence of Jesus. And I want us to do something I know it's different, but it's what I felt. If verse number three and four has been your prayer, if when you read it, if it describes you, I want us this night to agree with you. Praise the Lord. I want us to, the Bible says, when we come together in this fellowship and we make a petition before the Lord, then the Lord shall answer us. Praise the Lord. And I want, I want to ask you, if verse 3 and 4 describes you, I want to ask with all humility to appear before the altar of God because as a fellowship, we are going to petition it this night. As we were praying, I felt there are some of us who we have waited for so long. And this is where we are in the Kesha. This is where we have come to pray. We do not... We do not kick our blows in the air. Praise the Lord. And so, as I read number three and four again, if you find it describing your heart, or it, it is a picture of what has been happening around you, 
we want to agree with you as a fellowship. My tears have been my food day and night. While they said to me all day long, where is your God? These things I remember and pour out my soul with me. For I used to go along with a throne and lead them in procession to the house of God with a voice of joy and thanksgiving, a multitude keeping festivals. We want to agree that whatever has been happening around you, whatever has caused pain, whatever has caused tears, that the Lord is bringing it to an end. Whatever is making people ask, where is your God? May your God be revealed tonight. So, choir just give us. And I want us to be quick. My time is almost up. I want us to agree. I'm only calling us here so that we can agree as a fellowship. Praise the Lord. Si ndiyo sababu umekuja kesha. Ikiwa mungu hata tusaidia, tutasaidika kweli. Praise the Lord. So I want you, if first two and three, be quick. If there is nobody, we are going to finish. But my prayer is that we are going to agree with whatever is happening. Choir just help us to worship God. As the choir worship come, if you, are, you don't come, we are just going to conclude in Jesus' name. Shalaba kanto robo sikare maza. Mashalaba kande rima za kanto robo za. Mazo kotaraba shante rebo za. Nino penda ni kwa budu. Buwanda. Siku zote ni kwa budu. Buwanda. Nino penda ni kwa budu. Bona, ah, siku zote ni kwa budu Bona, ah, sena penda Ni kwa budu Bona, bona, ah, siku zote As we worship God, everyone else, I want us to stand with his brethren. I want us to stand with them before the Lord. Whatever has caused them tears, I want us to stand and tell God, let it come to an end. So I want us to pray five minutes passionately for them. And then I'm going to ask our Father to come and conclude this prayer. But I want us, let's pray five minutes passionate prayer for them. 
kwa sababu wamekuja mazeke tariba kanto robo sa redebo shente redebo sa rapa so konte redebo sa pray for them with passion pray for them like a brother like a sister like someone you love the bible says the fervent passionate prayer of a righteous man avail much la mazon tarabayanda repaso con terebosa reba canto robo shanda repaso con terebosa repaso terebayanda rapaso con tarabasaya father i thank you for this brethren repaso con tarabayanda repaso terebosanda i pray for divine intervention lord may every shame roll away tonight may every shame roll away tonight may the season of tears come to an end may the season of tears come to an end zeketa rabayanda repaso konta ribasa rapaso konte rebayanda rapaso te ribayanda rapaso te ribasa rapaso te ribayanda rapaso te ribayanda father we pray for them mazeketa rabasa repaka ta ribayanda we pray for them we agree with them for divine visitation we agree for them for divine visitation masiketarabakana bwana tunakubaliana nao ya kwamba kilio chao kimefika mwisho katika jina la Yesu Father, no more shame for them. No more shame. No more tears. No more desperation. No more hopelessness. No more rejection, Lord. Zakatarabakanda. Repaso kontarabasa. Repaso conta rabayanda Repaso tari bayanda Rabakanto robo sa Rebakanto ribayanda Lord how long how long shall they be mocked how long shall they wait may it come to an end tonight may every waiting Come to an end tonight. Zakata Rabayanda. They have appeared before your altar, Lord. They have appeared before your altar, Lord. May their weeping come to an end. Zakanto Robo Sai. We declare you are done as come. You are torn as calm. Every weeping, we bring it to an end in the name of Jesus. Maseketa rabakana. Every rejection, we bring it to an end. We declare a fresh beginning. We declare a new dawn in the name of Jesus. Zeketa rabakanda rebakanto robo sa repaso konta ribasa maseketa rabakanda repasa kanto robo sa repakanto robo sa repakanto ribasa repakanto robo sa repakanta ribasa repakanto robo sa repakanto ribayana you have come 
unto Mount Zion, the city of the living God. You have come unto the presence of God, unto innumerable numbers of angels, and we declare angelic visitation, divine visitation. Oh my Jesus, I want to bring in our Father to help us. Keep praying, keep praying, keep interceding. The Lord must come through for you. The Lord must come through this night. Oh Jesus, this is the end of it. This is the end of it. The opening of a new cycle. Rada Bashanto Bozita. Let's lay hands on them. Come see. Come. Let's lay hands on every one of them. Let's bring an end to every cycle. Continue to minister. You continue to minister. Continue to minister in every song. This shall mark a new beginning. The end of the devil is today. The end of his plans is today. Rada gada gande bahanda. Reda ba 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 kanto bozita. Rekada gando bozuka bashinda. Every tear cried. We turn it into joy. We turn it into joy. Blessed be the Lord and God who daily causes us to triumph. Let this altar be the change of your life.
baki ya kuwa mungu Ya we unabaki ya kuwa mungu Ya we unabaki ya kuwa mungu Ya we unabaki ya kuwa mungu Wendoli sera na utabaki ya kuwa mungu
twenty. When all is said and done, tabaki yaku wa mungu. When all is said and done, tabaki yaku wa shaba. When all is said and done, utabaki yaku wa baba. Hey, when all is said and done, utabaki yaku wa yawe. Mighty, mighty God. Oh, you are a mighty, mighty God. Jesus, you are a mighty, mighty God. Hey, you are a mighty, mighty God. Hey, you are a mighty, mighty. You are a mighty, mighty God. Somebody give the Lord a shout of praise. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Turn to your neighbor, ask them, do you know any other God who is bigger than our God? Ask them, do you know any other God who is bigger than our God? One more time, give the Lord a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Shangili. Kelele kwa mwana Shangilia Sifu mwana Wama mwana Kila mtu tuwane Tuwane Aha Aha Tu 
Tukapiga kelele hatuachi Tutapaza sauti zetu kama Tutapiga kelele hatuachi Tutapaza sauti zetu kama Haya kila mtu anipe makofu tona Tunakuinua mana Umbesta hili Tunakuinua buwana Wewe wajabu Tunakuinua mana Umbesta hili sema Tunakuinua buwana Wewe wajabu Sema Tunakuinua mana Umbesta hili Sema Tunakuinua buwana we wajabu Sema Kuinua mana Aha Umesa hili Chona, chona, chona Chona, 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 chona Kelele hatu wachi Tutapaza sauti ze tukama We can hold us Tutapika kelele hatu wachi We can't dance alone Wait We can't dance alone We can't dance alone Sawa Sawa Tutapiga kelele hatu wachi Hey, tutapaza sauti ze tukama Tutapiga kelele Hey, tutapaza sauti ze tukama Tutapiga kelele Yelele, yelele Lift your voice and tell the Lord that he deserves all your praise and all your glory this night. Lift up your voice to the one who made it possible for you to be here tonight. And tell him that he is worthy of all the praise. Tell him that he is worthy of all the honor this night.
Tell him that he deserves the honor, Rabba Shanda Bakuri Amandi. Tell him that he deserves all of the glory. Tell him that he deserves all the honor this night. Rekanda Bashanda Bakuri Amahandi. Rekanda Basila Bahande Riyamashala Bakari Amanda. Yes, you deserve all the glory. Yes, you deserve all the honor. Reda Bayara Mashala Mandi. Lift up your hands and just worship him tonight. I want us to change our gears tonight and enter into the heavenlies. I karababos tekeni na la kastabaru le bashta pane neleste. I para la la kasto kapani na la keste leni na la mahashta la boste. Rapa kasta kapani na la rede kesta kapanu le la lastaya. If you are able to speak in tongues, I want you to violently to speak in the tongues of the spirit that he has released upon your belly. For out of our bellies, we are releasing life tonight. For we are beings that give life. In us there is a life, a giving spirit. I want you to connect with the spirit of God that is in you and begin to release life. Let the rivers flow tonight. Let the rivers flow tonight. It is not a river in heaven. It is not a river without. It is a river within. We declare that Jesus is in us. We declare that the Spirit of God is in us. Oh, King of Glory. Out of our bellies, we release life, we release joy, we release peace, we release hope. Out of our bellies, ala kente, istola baria barori ala santa, ele marobo shantaya. Come on, draw out of the well. Oh God, oh Lord, the well of salvation with joy, with joy, with joy tonight. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Arababa shantaya, ori kapala nila la koseketaya, ori bama regeze keri ababo shantaya. Holy Spirit of God, we lift your name in this house. Holy Spirit of God, we declare your presence in our lives. Holy Spirit of God, we yield to you tonight. Rain, Holy Spirit, rain. Holy Spirit, rain in this place. Spirit of liberty, spirit of power, spirit of might. For you have not given us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power, the spirit of love, and a sound mind tonight. Oh, Stakamale. We are rising our spirits tonight to declare that Jesus is Lord. We are rising tonight with boldness, O oh God, as the children of God, by the power of the Holy Spirit of God that dwells in us to scatter every cloud of heaviness, O oh God. Every powers and principality, my father, that have held us back tonight, we release the glory of God. Tonight, we declare every plan, every wicked process, they are broken. It's the 
kemeni ala bo shakata e pala lo ke se ke teli la rabo ista la bani ala kaste ke pani nala i pola ki arrenala the thing that has been stopping you the thing that has been fighting your family arise tonight in the power of the might when god appeared to gideon he told gideon you mighty man of valor you are a mighty man of valor the spirit of god is upon you arise and fight for your family arise and fight for your career arise tonight and fight that opposition that spirit that has been fighting your brothers and sisters that calamity that has befallen your family the bible says the kingdom of god suffered violent tonight arise i am asking you i am calling you what god calls you mighty man of valor mighty woman of valor arise in the power of his might and come against every power every darkness every limitation anything that is against your way anything that has been fighting you tonight is a night to declare an end to your suffering god has anointed you god has anointed you the spirit of god is upon you he has anointed you with power he has anointed you with power he declares in his word i give you power and authority to tread on scorpions to tread on serpents to tread on witches those things those reports that have been declared you can refuse tonight if only you know who you are in god arise and say no i refuse i refuse to live a life of pain a life of shame a life of defeat ah by the sword of the spirit the bible declares by the sword of the spirit attack attack that thing that doesn't want you to go that limitation those words scatter them tonight in the power of his name in the name of jesus we have a name the weapons of our warfare they are mighty our weapons they are mighty our weapons they are mighty to the pulling down of every strong of every stronghold anything that exalts itself in your life against the will of god our weapons the weapons of our warfare take up the sword of the spirit and cut and declare the lord declares he is your shepherd you shall not lack you shall not lack you are blessed to be a blessing cut everyone any situation that is contrary to what god says by the sword of the spirit counter it tonight every i thought every i thought every stronghold that has said you will not be a baba the one says that i have blessed you and anointed you above all the nations of the other i am blessed poverty is not my portion i scatter i scatter that which covered that was not covered by my father that which has grown and was not planted by my father i am fruit i am fruit i am fruit i am fruit 
in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus when we get to warfare nobody can fight for you it is you because God has invested is anointed in your life he has given you the name that is above all other names he has given you his word and his spirit you have everything you need to live a victorious life the Bible says that you are more than a conqueror you are more than a conqueror you are more than a conqueror but what you do not confront you cannot overcome confront that thing that has kept you down that thing that has caused you tears God has given you all that you need all the authority all the power in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus every pain you are turning it to joy every pain you are turning it to laughter every limitation you are breaking it by the power of your anointing every bondage you are breaking it tonight in the name in the name in the name for whosoever that calleth upon the name of Jesus shall be saved that place you have stayed you have gone round for too long you have gone round for too long you have been in that place for too long it is time to break your cup break your cup it is time to ascend on higher to go higher to possess your possessions to possess your possessions the businesses the go oh God the businesses the positions that glorify his name for his name's sake God will exalt you God will deliver you any pain like Jabez we refuse pain oh my God that you take away my pain that you would bless me that I will cause no one pain oh God you had your best what is it that you cannot do oh mighty king what job is it that you cannot keep what husband is it that you cannot keep what marriage is it that you cannot heal what disease ah the Bible says if you have faith as little as a mustard seed you shall say to this mountain be thou removed remove every mountain ah any pain any story of disappointments by the faith by faith declare tonight this is the end of your presence in my life this is the end where I will mention you tonight in the presence of angel in the presence of the father I cast you out of my life you poverty you limitation you lack you sickness by faith by faith by the spirit of faith we declare we declare we declare we declare anything that was not planted by our father we uproot it be glorified be glorified be glorified be glorified father you are the god who changes the story of man you are the god who never lets us to remain the same oh my god we call on you yahweh have mercy Yahweh have mercy Yahweh have mercy have mercy 
have mercy, have mercy, Yeshua, have mercy, Yeshua, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, Ekeri Arababa, Ekeri Arababa, Ekeri Arababa, Ekeri Arababa, Ekeri Arababa, those that have remained close, have mercy, they are opening, but the power, but the power, the Bible says, when Paul and Silas were in the pit of prison, in the middle of the night, they began to sing, they began to praise, there is something that happens when you praise God in your pain, when you praise God in your pit, when it is dark, when it is dark, when it looks that it is impossible, Paul and Silas started to sing, started to praise, started to tell God, Baba unaweza, Bwana unaweza, hakuna usilosweza, hakuna usilosweza, katika mawimbi, the rubbers in kupiga sasa, inu wa sauti, mwambie baba, bado wewe ni mungu, Bado wewe ni mwema Bado wewe ni takuishia Bado wewe ni takungoja Unajua Unajua machozi yangu Umeona maala Ambapo nipo Baba Baba Oh maraba shalaba Estele malabo shalaba Oh maraba shete when we can cry to no one else, we choose to cry to you, God. Unaweza, 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 unaweza. Hakuna chambongumu mbele yako. Unaweza, 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 baba. Ili misteka rababushi. Sakara dalile mahashta Ambia tu bwana Ambia bwana unaweza Mwambie tu unaweza Mwambie tu unaweza Nimekwambia Paulo na Silas katika cha walikuwa wamechapwa hiyo siku karibu wafe lakini hawakuacha hawakuacha uchungu hawakuacha Maumivu ya mili yao Ya wazuie Kumshangilia buwana Nataka wanza kushangilia tu Usingoje keyboard Anza kushangilia Shikwa na kiza Ona mungu wa mefungua Ala baka sakatalina Oh buwana Oh unaweza Oh yesu Yesu wewe ni muema Ah sitangamia Oh sitakufu Oh, Sitaisha. Oh, Konami. Oh, Konami, yes. Oh, Konami. Ah, oh, Rabba Vashanda. Eh, Shele Katayalaba. Oh, Mastalabale. Estelebarabush. Estakamaradada. We are giving God a midnight praise. We are making to God a midnight chant. Eleva so Abashata. Wewe kile roa na kuambia. Oh shakarabama. Ambia bwana. Sita kata tama. Sita kata tama. Sita kata nama. Ukonami. 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 Oh marasa. Ele mesta baba. Ora bashata. Ah, tunakuamini Yesu. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. There is a place we have gone. There is a place we have gone. There is little traffic there. Ah, there is little traffic there. There is a wind that is being blown by the spirit. Hey, Shalaba. Hey. Hey, 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 make a 
awful noise. Make a noise of war. Declare war. Hey! We declare war over every principality that has caused delay. Ah! Listen. 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 Everything that happens in the physical is orchestrated in the spiritual. And for you to be able to change the physical, you have to go to the spiritual. The Bible says that now God is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. You cannot come to Akesha and be remain bound and oppressed. There is something I feel in my spirit. Now where we are, we need to declare an end to it. I want us tonight to fight the spirit of delay. You are not where you are supposed to be. Ah, you are not where you are supposed to be. There is somebody's blessings that have been delayed. The Bible says when Daniel began to pray, an angel was dispersed. Immediately he began to pray. That day he was ah, help was sent but an angel, the prince of Persia, obstructed uh, that blessing. Ah, tonight we are arising with authority and power to takwamua kila baraka. Ah, we are going to make a shout because in the spirit they do not understand English. Ah, there is a language of the spirit that we arise with. Hey! Oh, Rabaka Sakataya, arise, arise, arise. There is an agenda that has delayed your blessing, has delayed your promotion, has taken you round and round. Tonight, arise by the power of the Spirit. Ah, Eribaka Sakataya, Emereba Halakoshtaba, Elemastakaba. There is a delay, a delayed Blair, a delayed marriage, a delayed business, a delayed contract, a delayed promotion. Arise, O Masta Kabala Ganda, O Maradia La Castoka, Emanie Steka. Oh, you have struggled, you have toiled for too long. Oh, my God. Oh. Estalama, Shikapalama. I hear the Spirit saying, Listen, I hear the Spirit saying, When Peter, they had fished all night and they caught nothing, Jesus came and told them, Cast the nets again for a catch. Ah, I hear you with the word saying, cast your nets tonight for a catch. That promotion, that delay is being solved tonight. Cast your net of faith. Stretch out your faith. You are catching your net. You are catching your promotion. Ah, Peter said, at your will, at your word, at your word, I am writing, I am releasing a word tonight. Cast your net again cast your net again oh my god that thing that you have toiled to get for five years tonight you are receiving a net breaking oh a miracle 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 it still does miracle oh my god cast cast your nets cast your nets Cast your nets. The same place. The same boat. The same net. But this time, at the word of God, they caught a net breaking. A boat sinking. Catch. Catch. Because our God is a God who restores. He will restore what the ganga worms, what the lock worms, everything. 
thing uh, that you have lost, uh, any opportunity that you have lost, uh, tonight cast, uh, cast your net of faith uh, and catch it, uh, and catch it, uh, and catch it, uh, a neck breaking. Uh, Abasaka Yeshua Salamani Hamashia Halamose Lion of Judah Hakune Chem Hakune Chemba Yeshua Hamashia Lion of Judah Lift up your hands It is Yeshua who is helping you tonight Yeshua Shalabarama Kata Hamashia Lion of Judah Hakune Chemba Sharababosi Yeshua Hamashia Lion of Judah Shila Rabasi I want you to hold the hand of your neighbor and we will jump together as we sing that song. I don't know what is happening, but I can see a clear sky happening to somebody. We will chant and shout and dance tonight. I want you to arise in the spirit and enter us into that place of our victory tonight. For this is our victory tonight. We are not living here with unfinished business. Tonight all we came to take, we are going back. Tell your neighbor we are taking over. We are coming out of this house with spoils because from war we get spoils. Omar Rabashatalaba. We are invading the camp of the enemy and declaring Yeshua. The kingdom of God has come. Yeshua. Are you ready? Are you ready? I want you to shout. Don't let that neighbor sleep. Ah, we will push you into your destiny. Wacha kulala. We unalala na situ na barikiu. Wacha pressure. Are you ready, my friends? We will shout. We will shout. We will declare Yeshua. Yeshua, the Lion of Judah. Ah, the Lion of Judah. At the mention of his name, every knee, every demon, whatever is holding your blessing, will release and run away. Are you ready? Get it, get it, get it right, get it right. Get it right. We cannot afford the chamber a fast pace. Yeshua, Hamasia, Lion of Judah, Agune Chamba. Yeshua, Hallelujah. Lift up the hands together. The Bible says, and two shall cast them. Ten thousand, ten thousand, ten thousand. Amashia, Lion of Judah, Akunet. Yeshua, Yeshua, Yeshua. Amashia, Lion of Judah, Holy Ghost. Akunet. Yeshua, Yeshua, Yeshua. Oh yes. You are the one who parted the Red Sea. Oh yes. You 
Shout in the house. Hallelujah. Give me second chronicles. Second chronicles. Let me tell you what has happened or what is happening. Second chronicles chapter 20. Second chronicles chapter 20 verses 19. Second chronicles chapter 20. Faith is foolishness. Ah. Faith is foolishness. The Bible says. The natural man cannot understand the things of the spirit. They are spiritually discerned. We are not jumping up and down like crazy, uneducated fools. Tell your neighbor, I'm not a fool. I'm a man of faith. The Bible says, Then the levers of the children of the Korathites and the children of the Korathites stood up to praise the Lord God of Israel with voices loud and high. This is when Jehoshaphat was surrounded by a great multitude of armies. They had come to destroy him. Sometimes when you are in trouble, the best weapon you can use is the weapon of praise. It is praise. Go to verse 20. Go to verse 20. So they rose early in the morning and went out in the, to the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God. Believe that God has the ability to end your troubles. When you believe, you will be established. And believe in his prophets. You don't wait for us to jifunge tabal, to dishendevu, to tingike. Sometimes prophet is the person that has the word of God for you. Uh, and you shall prosper. Go to 21. Go to 21. And when they had consulted the people, he appointed those who should sing to the Lord and who should praise the beauty of his holiness as they went before the army and they were saying, this time the warfare was won by praise. Tell your neighbor by praise. Praise the Lord for his mercies and you are forever. Look at what happened in the camp of the enemy. And now when they began to praise and pray, haha, <laughs> I love this. When they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushes. You may have come to Akesha to pray, but tonight I wanted to ask you, have you ever tried praise? Ask your neighbor, have you ever tried to praise God in Akesha? And they began to praise. When they began to praise, the Bible says the Lord began to fight for them. There are people that tonight God will fight for you. He is going to set ambushes on the people that have been afflicting and troubling you. This is the word of God. This is not the story of the Nitangwa Nini Kakambwea na Nasungura. The Lord has set ambushes against the people of Ammon, Moab, Mount Seir who had come against and they were defeated. Tonight our defeating of the enemy is through praise. They were defeated, verse 23. For the people of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir to utterly kill and destroy them. There are people in your office who have been planning how you will be sacked. When you praise God, 
they will start revealing the secret and fighting each other. There are people that have been bewitching and mounting sieges against you. When you begin to praise God, they begin to turn on another kurokana. You become not their agenda. Tell your neighbor, I'm no longer an agenda. Ah, the enemy is no longer locating me. Ah, in the name of Jesus. Because this God that I serve, the Bible says, he inhabits the praises of his people. Nothing can stand against the presence of God. Hallelujah. So tonight I want us to make a shout. A shout of victory with this revelation that this battle is no longer ours. That God is taking my battle. Where we come out a battle, catch in Wangalie, while I work on a battle, Chukua YouTube, Joe Sandy Okinona Niki Ubiri Apa Kwasha Park, Niki To Shuda, Usiseme Ayapana, Ambia Geraniako, Usiske Weebo. Are you crazy about God? Are you crazy about God? And are you tired of your problem? Tonight, I want to ask you to try praise. Tell your neighbor, try praise. Try praise. Try, try praise. So I want us to make a shout. If you can jump, jump. If you can run, run. Because what you are doing, you are doing it before God. And when you do it before God, it becomes jealous. Are you ready? Are you ready? One, two, three, make a shout! In the name of 
Jesus. I uproot you in the name of Jesus. I cast you out in the name of Jesus. I pull you down by the anointing and the authority of the name of Jesus. The Bible says, and he that is born of God overcometh, overcometh. You are more than an overcomer. Make a shout. Ah. In the name of Jesus. In the name, in the name, in the name of Jesus. I am a winner. I am more, I am more than a conqueror. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name, in the name, in the name of Jesus. I am a winner. I am more. You are more than a conqueror. Ah, may the conquerors roar. Ah, people give them a high five tell them you are more than a conqueror never forget ah never forget you are more than a conqueror you are more than a conqueror Jesus 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 we give you glory and honor and praise in Jesus name Amen, Amen. make a shout to him make a shout make a shout hallelujah we are more than conquerors the Bible in the book of Psalms 91 Psalms 91 Verse 7. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalms 91, verse 7. As I try to see where to start, that was not my sermon. Sometimes we have to get crazy. Once you get a revelation of what you are and what. A Bible says a thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand. Imagine the thousands that fell on your side and 10,000. You need to praise God. A thousand did not... Ah! My friends, if you have a revelation of how God protects you, you will forever be grateful. In these places, you will forever be crazy. Ah, there is a song that has been sung, Undignified. I will be undignified. I will be undignified. Because a thousand fell on this side. Ten thousand. The things that God has kept from you. For you to be standing here. Ah. You have a reason to shout and praise him. Can you bless his name? You may have your seat. You may have your seat. You may have your seat. That is what warfare cashers look like. We engage in every available weapon. The Bible says, for the weapons of our warfare. For the weapons of our warfare. Praise is a weapon. Tell your neighbor, praise is a weapon. Praise is a weapon. Declarations are weapons. That's the sword of the spirit. You are declaring what God says that you are. Tonight, by the grace of God, I am honored, humbled to just share briefly. I can see time has really flied. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know where to begin, but I will begin from Proverbs chapter 24, verse 10. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 10. We thank God for our father, for taking him to Kisumu, for the Mountain Takers Conference and bringing him. Can you celebrate our father, Pastor Gashara, for honoring his promise to Bishop Mark. 
uh, the Bible says, if you faint in the day of what? If you faint in the day of what? Your strength is what? Is small. If you faint in the day of your adversity, if you faint in the day of your adversity, there is a guarantee that is put in that portion of scripture. There is a guarantee that enhances the probability of an event called adversity. The Bible says, if you faint in the day of adversity, in other words, of all the days of the calendar, there is a day called the day of adversity. One has to feel and the Bible tells you that on this day, the expectation of heaven is that you will not faint. On that day of adversity, on that day of great trouble, on that day of great challenges, the expectation of the word of the expectation of the heavenly kingdom is that you will remain strong. But should there be a possibility that you will not be able to stand on the day of adversity, then there is a problem. And the problem that is there is that you are not able to stand because your strength was found to be wanting. It is a warning that the Bible is telling you on that day before it comes what you need to do to be able to stand. And the word of God tells us that for you not to faint in that day, then you need to invest in your spiritual strength. Because the guarantee is in all the 365 days, I don't know how many days have been allocated to be the days of adversity. Tonight, I want to talk about gaining spiritual strength. Joshua chapter 1, verse 1. Don't forget about that. I will try and be very, I will not say brief because I always say brief. I will try and deliver the message. Joshua chapter 1, verse 1 to 8. I will try and paraphrase and just follow as the person who is behind the screens tries to follow. The Bible says, after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, saying, before you go, the Bible says, the death of Moses resulted to God identifying another person to carry on his mission. One of the things that you will need to understand from this just one verse is the plans of God cannot be thwarted. The promises that God has made, even if you refuse, when Jonah refused to go, God started identifying a plan B. God is a God of plan B. So the Bible says after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, he was the servant. He was the person that God appeared and told God and, and told him that I am taking you back to Pharaoh and I have an, an assignment over your life because every time that God calls anyone, he has an assignment. The purposes that he has over your life cannot be stopped because you are jobless. The purposes that God has in your life cannot be stopped because you are not working, you don't have purpose. The plans of God, God is a progressive God. So God appears to Joshua and he confirms what Joshua has already knows. Go to verse 2. Go to verse 2. 
The Bible says that Moses, my servant, is dead. This is something I was trying to share with a, a few brethren, on, I think, on Monday. And why would God want to confirm what was already obvious? Joshua had known that Moses is dead. But why is God repeating the obvious? Is repeating the obvious so that he may show and he may create faith in the man that he's raising up for the assignment. He wants to declare to Joshua that there is an end of an era. Moses is gone. And that's why the Bible says for you to go with God. The Bible calls it, is it Isaiah chapter 40, 40, I don't know. If it's Isaiah 40 verses 80 where the Bible says forget the former things. You need to let go of what things that are behind you. Those things that have passed. Those things that are no longer helpful. God is telling Joshua, the former has gone. The big error, your master, your mentor is gone. But now my eyes are on you. My eyes are on you. Because I have an assignment. I have a promise that I made to my servant Abraham that I will deliver these people to a land flowing with milk and honey. I cannot change because Moses is gone. I will still execute and achieve my assignment. Now therefore arise for you to be able to step into the shoes of Moses. One thing that I will need you to become is to arise and arise and be strong. Arise and be strong because God does not work with weaklings. Oh God. Mumezima. So God tells him, arise and go over this Jordan, you and his people. God is clarifying why am I bringing you up into the picture. Every time that God saves a person, he does not save that person so that they will spend eternity alone. There is an assignment. Some of you, the assignment is your family. Some of you, the assignment is your village. You have a great destiny assignment upon you. You are not here because you lacked a place to go for Kesha. You are not saved because you got, you got convicted and got born again. As much as you got born again, God is looking at the redemption of a city. He's looking at the family of your family being saved. Because the plans of God always is to bring salvation into our family. So you cannot afford to let God down. Your family is looking at you. Four or five generations that are behind or before you, they will one day know there was a man that stood when God told him to arise. And this man is the reason that poverty ended in our family. God is counting on you. God has brought you to this house. God has brought you this far. Because the assignment is more than the papers. The assignment is more than the degree. The assignment is more than the marriage. There are generations. There are some corrections that he needs to correct. That are coming out of your lineage. May you be the last person that suffers in your family. May you be the last person that lacks school fees in your family. Because when God calls you, he must fulfill a good plan. He says in the book of Jeremiah 29 verses 11, For I alone know the plans. When he's bringing you, he's bringing you to a preordained plan. There is a plan. There is a work. There is something that you will need to walk with God for you to be able to deliver for your generation. He's calling you and he tells Joshua, arise, arise. And the assignment is very simple. Cross into the Jordan and give the people that I promise the land that I promise. Because God is not a man that he should lie. Whatever promise that he has made, he will see it come to pass. Anything that God has spoken, the Bible says that he cannot change. He does not change. He will not go back back behind his word and say I economy me badilika wacha tungoje our God is faithful tell your neighbor your God is faithful your God is faithful I am giving you this land my Moses the master the man that I spoke face to face ah Joshua you may not have known me the way Moses known, knew me but this is not about just my relationship this is about me fulfilling my covenant because I am a covenant keeping God 
Go to verse 3. But I will need you to do something, Joshua. Every place of the sole of your feet that will tread upon, I have given you. This is the clarification of the assignment. That you are not in Nairobi by any chance. Any place that the sole of your feet has tread upon, God will give you favor. May Nairobi favor you. In the name of Jesus Christ. You cannot walk in these streets as an asala, as a nobody. May the God who keeps covenant give you this promise. I'm giving you. I'm giving you. How do you know God has given you a city? When people begin to favor you. When opportunities and doors begin to open for you. Where people have failed, it works for you. God gives you grace to occupy a city because the calling of God is specific to a location. He tells Abraham, come out of the land of your father and mother and I will take you to a land. Tell your neighbor to a land. God's calling is specific to a location. He brought you to Nairobi that you may prosper. Tell your neighbor, I will prosper. So verse 4, but I will need you to do something. My responsibility. Look now. The Bible is trying to give the cup. And I want you to look at this. The Bible is telling you the land that I'm giving you is occupied. It is not vacant. It is not a plot that has been allocated the, my maguta maguta and they have said proti 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 apana. That land has owners, the eaters, the people that are settling on those lands. They have established, they have houses, they have settled. They do not know any other place. But I am taking you to that land. That's why it is important important for you to be strong because any time that God gives you an assignment it is usually greater than your ability God will never call you to an assignment that is you are within your possession if you are within your purpose if it is within your bank account that is not God speaking to you it is your ambitions and imagination when God calls you you are you are nothing he calls Moses and he tells Moses I'm taking you back to Pharaoh by the time he is calling Moses the only thing that was valuable to Moses was a pair of sandals and a stick ah how can I go back with sandals and a stick and confront the big man called Pharaoh? If you are not watched the movie of Moses, I want you to go and look for that movie. So that you may understand, Pharaoh was a superpower. It was like telling, uh, which, which man, will I mention my presence? To go and tell Biden, give me the password to the nucleus. Ah! Umetoka tu pale Africa tu kwa shimo shimo na unaenda kuambia the superpower. Pharaoh was the superpower of that day. But the only thing that Moses had was a stick and a pair of sandals. By that time, alikuwa amekana kondom baka akaisha. The only language that Moses could utter was stammering. He was a nobody. He had been reduced to a nobody. That's an indication that God can use anything and anyone to confront the powers and the principalities of this kingdom. Ah, never disqualify yourself when it comes to God. Never look down upon you. It doesn't matter what people have said. So long as you have this God of David. So long as you have this God of Abraham. He can take you out of nowhere. And bring you to sit with kings. I've seen it in my life. From a houseboy to sit with presidents. From a houseboy to sit with dignitaries. Ah, discussing issues. Because God. God ah, is not a respecter of persons. So Joshua, I am giving you land that belongs to us. The vision, the assignment is greater. Is greater. This is not a small joke. The same assignment I am giving you made Moses not to see the promised land. Ah, this is the same assignment, the continuity of the assignment that Moses could not enter into the promised land. It was Moses who was supposed to take them. But in one way or the other, Moses could not get. But Joshua is being handed a greater responsibility and a burden. I don't know what God has told you. It might look awkward. It might look impossible. But tonight, go to verse 5. Tonight, I came with a word from God. 
No man shall be able to stand against you. No man shall be able. My covenant and my promise is for you to know this one thing. I am with you. I am walking with you. If I have told you to open up a shop and this shop will generate so many other shops, I am going to fulfill it. If I have told you that I'm going to bless you with a ministry that your, your, your voice shall be heard across the nations, I'm going to be to you with you. The thing that will cause you to win, number one, is because I'm going to be with you. The presence of God. You cannot do it on your own. You cannot rely on your papers. Your friends, your connections, they cannot take you and help you to fulfill what God has called you. The only thing, that's why Moses tells God, do not let us leave from this place. Don't let us go, Exodus 33. Don't let us go. Because how can we go and face the world when you are not with us? They will laugh at us. How will it be known you are with us unless your presence goes with us? We cannot afford to do life without the presence. Bible says that I will be with you, verse 6. But I want to expect, I expect something to you. Go to verse 6. Go to verse 6. But this is where I start and I say that there is a responsibility that Joshua needed to take up. And the responsibility of Joshua was to be strong and of good courage. Any time, remember the reason that God is telling this person is because for you to advance into areas occupied by your enemy, you have to be strong. For us to remain in this city, for this altar to remain post 30, post even the exit of our pastor and the exit of us, for this altar to remain functional and to push the kingdom of darkness away, this church needs to be strong. We cannot afford to be a church of cowards. We cannot be afford to be a church that is not prayerful. We cannot be afford to be a church that is not one in spirit and in heart. For us to be able to contend and to win the enemy. Because let me tell you, Pastor says, There are principalities that are now tuned into what is happening here. There are people that have gotten a clue on how we are advancing. There are enemies, the Bible pastor said, the enemy will give you a strategy of five, seven years. There are plans that are already been fashioned. And the day that we will become weak, the enemy will strike. In the day of adversity, if our strength, ah, if we faint, it's because our strength is faint. And God is giving some, uh, uh, Joshua, the responsibility, work on your faith. Work on your ability to be able to Stand. You need to know there is something that I cannot do for you. It is for you to wake up in the morning and be strong. It is for you to read the word. Go to verse 8. Verse 8. It is for you to meditate upon the law. For you to read this word and be careful to do everything that is in need. Because in your obedience, sometimes being strong is obeying the last instruction. Being strong in the Lord is to obey the last instruction. Because the instruction will be, go around, a, a, go around, a, 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 go around a Jericho six times without making any noise. Go around. That is the instruction. If you are carnal, you will not be able to walk with God. If you are not spiritually alert, vigilant, you will not be able to fulfill the commands of God. He tells Joshua, you will be able to go around six times. Remember the time they are going six times. They have no weapon. The enemy and the occupiers of Jericho were seated because the cities of those times, they were built high walls. While you go to Mecca and Asila, they are going around and the enemy is looking at them. <laughs> Faith is foolishness. Obedience sometimes does not make sense. How can God tell Abraham, take your son whom you love and sacrifice him for me? 
if you are not strong, you will not be careful to observe that which is written. Your success, your ability to conquer, your ability to fulfill the assignment that God has handed over in your life is your ability through your ability to obey all that is written. The reason that we are weak is because we stopped obeying God. So God is telling Joshua, be strong. And how will you be strong? Number one is to obey. Meditate upon this word day and night. Because when you meditate upon the word, the word becomes one. The Bible says, and the word dwelt among men. There is something that happened when you are, oh my God, when this word builds you up in its itself it builds itself up in your heart when the word of god becomes one with you when jesus was presented remember jesus in the book of matthew chapter 30 chapter 3 verses 19 after the baptism he is led by the spirit into the wilderness and he meets the devil the same way the first man met the devil jesus meets the devil devil and the devil brings because the tactics of the enemy are the same the devil has no new tactic he comes to Jesus same way he came to Adam and Eve and he tells Jesus it is written it has been said that if you will you can turn these towns into bread and Jesus because the word was in him what do you think Jesus was doing the 30 years before baptism I have heard people say, our generation say, alikuwa anapiga randa. You think Jesus was be, <laughs> alikuwa anapiga randa? He was a carpenter. Munakaa tukulala lala. We, ambia jirani acha kulala. Acha ni kuje. Before Jesus was baptized, do you think the 30 years, he was there, akishona makabura, nisinitu aje makofins na mameza. The Bible says at the age of 12, he was left in the temple and he was arguing with the teachers about the word. Jesus, in those 30 years, by revelation, I would say, it is not written, this is my assumption, that Jesus spent time reading the word. He spent time meditating the word. He was the word, but he interacted with the word. What a mystery. Because they knew there will be a day of adversity. In Matthew chapter 4 verses 1, the Bible says, He was led into the wilderness. Oh, by the Spirit of God. And he found not a... He did not find the serpent. Oh my God. Hey, the enemy said, Uyu, ni lazima ni mpangie. He did not find the serpent. He found the devil. Ah. The devil was waiting for 30 years. Devil was going to pick up press-ups. Oh, God, you too. Ile ziku nitakutana na uyo yesu. Nitamsho. Ah, alikuwa na fikiria. This is the same Adam. But Jesus, led by the Spirit, he entered into the wilderness. And for 40 days and 40 nights, he was building his faith. He was building himself. He was building himself. He was meditating upon the word. He was praying because the Bible says in the book of Matthew, there are some kind of devils that cannot go unless you pray and fast. I'm talking about being strong. You need to understand the role of prayer and fasting for you to overcome the day of adversity. He was praying rakatani nanamo zakatari larede and the devil was there laughing because the devil does not have a memory anafikiria huyu ndio ule Adam na Eve hata najua alikuwa anashangaa ako wapi Eve ndio baada ya Yesu kumaliza shetani akatokea ah akamwambia if you are the son of god ah turn these stones into breads i know you are angry turn them into bread but jesus say it is written because jesus had prepared himself for the day of adversity Cashers like this, they are not time for you to come and find a corner and sleep. These are the platforms for you to prepare for the day of adversity. Because that 
day for sure is coming. Your family will need a watchman in the day of adversity. Oh my God, this ministry needs prayer warriors that can stand and meditate upon the war because the enemy yule yule, his work is to kill, to destroy, uh, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Don't be happy seated somewhere thinking that the devil has forgotten us. He's scheming. He's scheming. He's looking for an opportunity. He's looking for a day. So God tells Moses, I tells Joshua, that you shall meditate. Take this word. The reason and one of the things that I have found about this generation, pastor, is this generation is angry for deep revelation, but disobedient on the basics. How many people here seated here today read a chapter in the word of God? How many here spent at least 30 minutes seeking God today? We are in the middle of the city. If you think it is a just a, a, a charismatic gimmick, take your Google. This place is at the center of Nairobi. Do you know how many forces and powers want this place? Do you know how many forces and powers are contending against the work of God in this place? You cannot afford to be weak. Tell your neighbor, wake up. Wake up. Because the Bible says, look at what it says. For then you will make your way prosperous. It is your res prosperity is your responsibility. To your home, the grace to end home. Prosperity is your responsibility. The health and the success of your family is your responsibility. You will be asked one day, <laughs> God is looking at you because He has given you all things that you need that pertain to a godly life. So He tells Joshua, You will make your way prosperous and have good success. What you need to do is to be strong. Tell your neighbor, Be strong. Because God will tell you things that do not make sense. God will appear to you in dreams and in vision. He might have appeared and you are getting confused. Tonight I came to charge you. Be strong. Tell your neighbor, be strong. I don't know what he has spoken, but this God that has promised has a tendency of fulfilling and keeping his word. One of his character, one of his name is a faithful God. He tells Joshua, I will give you victory over your enemy. But for you to win over these enemies, be strong. Tell your neighbor, be strong. So this church needs to be strong. We cannot be pushed out of the city by Muslims because they are buying right, left, and center. We need strong businessmen. We need strong women who will ascend to the calendars or to the, to the corridors of power. We need people that will sit at the table of decision making. This cannot happen with weaklings and cowards. We must be people that understand what God has said. The assignment that we have been given and we take up the assignment. Because every time that God gives you an assignment and he tells you to be strong, what he does, he will anoint you. First Samuel chapter 16 verses 13. First Samuel chapter 16, verses 13. Some of us have been abusing the anointing. We have stayed with the anointing in our lives. God has anointed you. Pastors have anointed you. People have prophesied, but you are seated. Look at what First Samuel says. Then Samuel took the oil and of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And the spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. Every time that God calls you, he anoints you. Tell your neighbor, I am anointed. That's why I cannot fail. You are anointed. It doesn't need to feel like it. You don't need to shake for you to know you are anointed. The anointing is inside of you. The Bible says immediately that Samuel anointed David. The spirit of God came upon David. From that 
stay as for. Some of us are seated while anointed. We have become people that are comfortable. We are waiting for things to happen instead of us going to cause things to happen. God anoints David and the next place that he takes David is to the battleground. There are Goliaths that have been standing against your family. That enemy of poverty is the Goliath that is questioning your God. And you are seated here ukituangalia. Ambia jirani yako shanuka wewe. God, the Bible says, and Goliath would raise in the morning. Nana watukana, wewe, nyinyi maweri, hamuwezi kitu chochote. And the fear had engulfed the camp of God. When David had been anointed, because anointing will take you to adversity. Ah. The work of the anointing is to square off the enemies of God. You are anointed. Tell your neighbor you are anointed. Ah, you are anointed. The challenge is because you do not know how to stir up the anointing. The anointing is stirred up. The anointing is exercised. The anointing is worked out. Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. When we tell you to come to morning glory, it is not because we want numbers. It's because we want you to stir up your anointing. The anointing that is not stirred up, it becomes stale. Anointing becomes stale. It expires. Yesterday's anointing cannot handle today's challenges. You need to be anointed. Be ye filled with the Holy Spirit each and every day, each and every morning, each and every day, because you will meet Goliath and Goliath has cousins. So the Bible says, David is taken to the place of war. There is somebody, and I was feeling this, there is somebody that there is a stronghold in your family that has distorted the, and affected the life of your siblings. Your siblings want to cut too evil. And unless you arise, that thing will catch up with you. Tell your neighbor, watch out. So God tells David, I have anointed you. Because the anointing is to create empowerment for you to fulfill the assignment. This assignment cannot be fulfilled without the anointing. So tonight we came to stir up the anointing. How do you stir up your anointing? The book, the book of Jude chapter 1 verses 20, if I remember. Jude 1 20, the Bible says, building up your most holy faith, speaking in tongues. There are ways that you stir up your anointing. Prayer is a way of stirring up your anointing. Fasting will stir up your anointing. Luke chapter Go to, go to the book of Luke chapter 11. Luke chapter 11. I want to find somewhere and close. Because I really wanted us to pray even if it's 30 minutes. We, sometimes we over prepare. Ah, go to Luke chapter 11. Are you in Luke chapter 11? You are in Luke? Go to Luke 11 verses 20. Go to Luke number Verses 20. The reason why you stir up the anointing. Look at what Jesus is saying. But if I cast out demons with the finger of God, surely the kingdom of God has come upon you. Look at 21. This blew up my mind. Ah, When a strong man fully harmed guards his own palace, his goods are in peace. When a strong man, when you are strong, your family is safe. When you are strong, your business is safe. When you are strong, your marriage is safe. When you are strong, your ministry is straight. His own goods are in peace. Look at 22. But, but, sometimes a stronger person than you will attack. A disease that you never expected will come. Calamities. And that's why I began by saying, in the day of adversity, adversity will come. 
and sometimes when this adversity but when a stronger than he comes upon him and overcomes him in other words you faint in the day of adversity what will happen is the territory that you had gained will be taken away you will be pushed away from what you already occupied remember that every time that israel sinned against god the same tribes, the same nations that they had overpowered, God will use them to oppress Israelites. When you become weak, when you do not invest in your spiritual man, the Bible says, a stronger man than you will attack. When you slay in slumber, when you ignore prayer, the basics of the word of God, when you ignore fellowship, and I think this is one of the things that has become so much a burden, fellowship of brethren. Because the early church in the book of Acts chapter 4 verses 31, they say when they prayed together, there is something that happens when you keep the company of brethren. Ah, there is no long ranger that ever made in this kingdom. Any person that thinks that he is standing, he will fall. Those people that ignore fellowship, those people that are not in HBC, those people that are not active in any ministry, watch out. The Bible says when a stronger man comes, he will take, he will take, he will take, he will take all that was, was yours. What, whatever you trusted in and what he will do, he will divide your spoils. He will take your money. He will take your business. He will take your joy. He will divide your, create division in your family because you did not watch out. You did not stir up your anointing. The reason we stir up our anointing is for us to be able to stand. The reason why we pray, we fast and pray. I am repeating, if, if there is anything I would want to charge you, can we go back to the place of fasting and prayer? Watch ile ya siku tatu ya hapa. Ile ya ako ya mi siku kumi, siku shirini, because you are Building yourself to stand against anything that will come your way. Jesus says this kind cannot go. Why does he say that it cannot go? It is because they will not go unless you become stronger than whatever you are casting. And he says, but when a stronger than he comes upon him, overcomes him, he takes from him all his armor in which he trusted and he divides his boy. I wonder what the enemy has taken from you. Stand up on your feet. Nimemalizia kwa introduction. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. When the Lord began telling me or teaching me about this thing, one thing that he told me is you need to recognize where this altar is. <laughs> my friends this altar I don't know how many were here when the prophet came prophet Manson how many came were here you know it is very dangerous for you to be hearing such delicate messages from God this is a very critical altar I remember twice or thrice we have prayed about the dollar. Unajua ni leona watu wakisema, wakicheka our first lady, wakisema, tuliomba kuhusu dollar. Anacheka, wanafikiria, ati, ati, tuliomba. You remember at KCB when we are doing the prayer walk? We declared, this altar is powerful. So you cannot be weak in a powerful altar. Your life cannot remain, ah, your life cannot remain the same when you are in this altar. We will service this altar. So the Bible says, finally, my brethren, be strong. Be, be what? Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Finally, my brethren, be strong. Be strong. Be strong. Be 
because you will be able to fulfill all that God has assured and promised you. Be strong because there are adversities and there are enemies who want to oppose you. Be strong because you will be able to become the savior of your family. Be strong because the salvation, the healing of your family depends on you. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord because there is an assignment over this house. Be strong in the Lord because God will use you to express his kingdom. Be strong in the Lord because he is elevating you to places where you cannot go if weak. Be strong in the Lord because he wants to fulfill a covenant that he has with your life. Be strong. Tell your neighbor, be strong. Be strong. Be strong in your prayer life. Be strong. Two things that God told me to remind you. Be strong in your giving. Be strong in your giving. Giving is what shows that your life is a sacrifice. No one can live for God. No one can declare that he loves unless he gives. Two things. Be strong in your giving. The altars of witches are powered by giving. One of the things, and I will say this without any fear. When the Muslims were busy doing Ramadan... One of the prophets, I think we were somewhere praying. Somebody told us that one of the Muslims was telling us, even now, the reason that even people are becoming weak, even in the churches. Do you remember that it was the time that we had so many accidents on the roads? It is because of the quantity and the quality of the sacrifices that those people give. Our giving is what enforces and reinforces this altar. The second thing that God said to be strong in is in service. Only anointed vessels, are on, only serving vessels are anointed. Only serving vessels are anointed. Anointing is not to warm the seat. Anointing is not to speak in tongues and feel tingly. Anointing is for service. God is anointing and will anoint some of us very much because of service. You sit down with your talent, it will be taken from you. You will not be ministering. Hello. <laughs> anointing is for service. If this ministry will prosper, if your life, because when you serve God, your life becomes his life. Your issues become his issues. There is something in heaven called P.O. Box. Every time that God wants us to release a blessing, he releases it through the box of your service. Ah, there are things that servants of God do not pray for. <laughs> there are things that men of God that serve. The Bible says no weapon forged. But is, this is the heritage of my servant. There are calamities that cannot be for the servants of God. We need, listen to what the Bible says in Mekumbuka. Isaiah chapter 35 verse 2. 35 verse 2. 35 verse 2. 35 verse 2. Isaiah 35.2. You are 35.2? That's 35.2. Go three. Yes. Strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble in his. Strengthen. 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 Put your hands back to the plow. Strengthen your hands. I don't know who I am talking to. But God is saying an area of strengthening is an area of giving. There are all other things. The area of meditation. But he was so concerned when he was speaking to me. The area of giving and the area of service. Some of us have, 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 have scored duty. Kuna watu wa wakujangi kazi. 
Absconding duty means you are not available. When you do that, there is what we call in the employment where we work with HR in a gross misconduct. When you don't show up for work. There are people's ministries that are vacant. Oh my God. When you sit down with the anointing, God takes it. The grace is taken away. The Bible says, and a branch that does not bear fruit, it take it off. It cut it off. Utakatu hapo. And people will do much. People will be blessed. Na weo utaku meachu hapo. Ole wako. Ambia jirani yako ole wako. I want you to ask God tonight. Strengthen me, God. Strengthen my prayer life. Strengthen. You know where you are weak. You know everything. We can pray about seasons. We can pray about things. But if you are not strong, the things of the kingdom, spiritual things, they are taken. They are not given. You take them. You take them. The Bible says the violent Take them by force. There are areas, there are realms that you cannot ascend in your weakness. This version of you, there are blessings that it cannot carry. This version of you, there are places, there are promotions, there are territories that you cannot occupy. Tonight, I want you to pray honestly and tell God, strengthen me, God. Strengthen me again tonight. If there is any need for you to be baptized with the spirit of God tonight because without the spirit anything is is useless the Bible says it is not by might it is not by power it's by my spirit says the Lord there is something that happens when we be Come hooked with the holy anointing. There are things that change. There are transformations. God is preparing you for a battle. But he cannot take you to a battle in this version of weakness. This version that does not know the word. This version that cannot stay in the place of prayer. This version that is ruled by stomach and food. You have to say God, I need to be stronger. There are things I know Oh, there are people that God has been hurting you. Can you just pray? Can you just take a day and fast? We have been telling you to come at night. Take a day and pray. We are looking at how you will become strong because the anointing is not for apostles alone. The anointing is not for preachers alone. It is for everyone. As everyone is drawn to God, he anoints. He shows no partialities. There are victories. Ah, the destiny of your family is in your hands. If only you could become strong. If only you will refuse to be weak. If only you will begin to take the things of God seriously. If only you will go back to the place of meditating the word of God. Oh, when the Lord was speaking, he told me to remind you about the power of fellowship. One shall say a thousand and two shall put 10,000 to flight. Ah! When we become one in the spirit, when there is no one greater, when there is no one who feels greater in the choir, in the deacons, when we become one unit, we will shake this city. This city shall be shaken by the power of unity. We have to be a church of unity, a church of love, a church of one heart, a church that does not disregard each other. We need to go back to the place of true fellowship, walking in fellowship, walking in love. For how can we change the world if we are not faster? Change within ourselves, change in our ministries. I am asking you to pray. Ah, those things, they are miracles, they are doors that are waiting for the version of you that becomes stronger until a hair becomes mature until a hair attains the age of maturity is any inheritance it is kept by guardians is inheritance is kept by guardians until a hair fully matures fully becomes stronger that you are able to possess your possession
possessions you are able to possess your possession you are able to slay that giant of poverty that giant of lack that giant of misfortunes that giant of failure that giant of rejection awaits an anointed version of you you have to rise arise and awake from your slumber this kingdom requires stamina this kingdom requires you to be strong finally brethren be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might how can we take over Nairobi when we are weak when we are not strong financially when we are not strong financially when we have a winship when we have teams that are fighting each other people that have disregarded the work of God people that look upon the work of God as a burden how will God anoint you if you cannot show up in services if you are not willing to carry the burden of this ministry why should God anoint you if you are not careful with the little the little opportunity arise wake up from your slumber Joshua you be need to be stronger be stronger be stronger and the people that know they are God shall be stronger shall be stronger when you interact with God in prayer when you come to service and hear his word you get to know him and you gain you begin to become stronger be stronger be stronger alabashata be strong in the Lord be strong in the Lord be strong in the Lord for you will inherit the promises of God they are yes he promised you a business do not faint because of adversity do not give up because of trouble your marriage shall be restored your family shall be delivered don't give up because of adversity no matter what the enemy is doing tonight be strong be strong arise like David and declare you are feel circumcised Philistine I come to you in the name of the Lord the heavenly host the Lord of the heavenly host whom you defy I come ah i don't know what adversity that you have been facing ni nini pingamizi gani ambayo imekusumbua pingamizi ya kukosa kazi pingamizi ya kukosa watoto pingamizi ya kukosa ndoa inuka jioni ya leo arise for the glory of god has come upon you arise and shine for the glory of god has come upon you it is time to wake up from slumber strengthen your feet strengthen your weak feet oh my god strengthen your hands your weak hands straighten your feet it is time to put our work it is time to serve god it is time to be strong to be strong there are spoils this city they are spoils oh my god they are spoils to take their hotels to occupy their hotels to occupy we will not perish we will not fail ah the church the church shall have a name in the city the church shall have a name in the city the people of know their god shall be strong and by the hotels the people that know their God shall be stronger and open companies the people that they know their God shall be stronger and open up businesses 
that thrive. We are taking over the city. The, the Bible says, where the sole of our feet tread on. Ah, he has given us as an inheritance. The city belongs to the righteous. Ah, the Bible says, say to the righteous, it shall be well. It shall be well. It shall be well. I feel like praying. If you are in business, if you are business, you are doing business. You are the next big thing that God is looking. Your business is the next thing that God is looking. Raise up your hands and declare, I will be strong. I will be strong. May God's strength come upon your business. Oh, you are doing business in the church. You are a business person. You are thinking of of opening a business. God is looking at you. There is a jar. There is an occupation that he wants you to occupy this city. There is a sustenance plan that he has over your business. Your business will grow to the east, to the west, to the north. Enlarge your tent. Enlarge your tent. God, I can hear him saying, grow Grow your business. Ah, that is not what he called you to do. He's only called you to open up branches, to open up centers, to open up stores. Your business is growing tonight. You are a Uber driver. You are getting more cars tonight. Only be strong. Only be strong and courageous. Joshua, be strong and courageous. For this city shall see, shall come to this house and declare, we have seen that the Lord is with you. Because the Bible says, Isaiah chapter 8, verses 18, as for me and my sons, we are for signs and wonders. Your business will be a wonder. Your business will be a wonder your career shall be a wonder oh ya katele barusa take your eyes from the little things change your mindset abasakaya hele stola mashata stand up on your feet we cannot pray about being strong and you sit down stand up stand up we are finishing listen to this listen to this one of the things that will create you to be strong is a renewed mindset. Renewed mindset. Romans chapter 12 verse 2. Romans chapter 12 verse 2. One of the lessons that I'm learning even this month is faith cannot be effective in a corrupt mindset. You cannot see the benefits of faith if your mindset is small. One thing that needs to happen, and that's why Joshua is being told, meditate. One of the things that happens is you need to be renewing your mind. You need to start seeing you as that person who makes it. You need to see you as, to start seeing yourself as that person who is qualified by God. You need to see yourself as that person who can be used by God. Renew your mind. Maisha ya duni, maisha ya vitu chache chache, maisha ya kungangana, ni lazima uba. The Bible says when they went and spied in the promised land, they came back and some of them say, we saw ourselves like locusts. The way you see yourself matters to God. Stop seeing yourself as an hustler. Stop seeing yourself as a little nobody. Start seeing yourself as an important weapon in the hands of the Father. Start seeing your business growing and declare upon it. Take that, put your hands on your hand, on your mind, on your head, whatever. Put your hands on your, tell God renew this mind. Take away this mind of small, small mindset. 
the mind that does not see any good thing coming out of my life. Oh my God, when the, the woman went to the prophet, he was asked, what do you have? And that woman said nothing but a oil, a small oil, a jar of oil. Ah, ah, the problem was not the anointing. The problem was the capacity. The problem was the vessel that was carrying the anointing. Some of us are carrying mindsets of defeated people. Tell your God, change this mind. Change this mind. David appears to Saul and tells Saul, as I was looking at the father's cow, I saw a lion and I fought it. A bear and I fought it. Even this too. Ah, see your mindset being changed. God changed our mindset to see people that can take over our tests. When we hear opportunities, may we be confident to step up and say, even this we can buy. Ah, when they are selling property, may we be the people with the right mindset that the Bible says, and then that know their God shall be strong. Change the way you think. Change your mindset. See yourself as a warrior. See yourself as an overcomer. See yourself driving the good cars. See yourself wearing good clothes. See yourself living in good places. Because as far as your eye can see, you cannot have what you do not see. May your mindset be changed. Ah, do not settle for less. Do not settle for anything. May your mind change. Be transformed tonight that you will see yourself doing great things for God. You will see yourself being used by God. Take away that mindset of failure. Ah, who told you you are a failure? Who told you you cannot do it? Who told you you are useless? Ah, refuse every stronghold that has been formed in our minds. Tonight, we bring it down. Every stronghold of failure, every stronghold of poverty, every stronghold of timidity. The Bible says he has not given us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power, of love and a sound mind. May your mind be transformed. Begin to see yourself going for materials in China. Begin to see yourself employing a hundred people. Begin to see yourself building your own farm building your own company you are more than an overcomer and the first thing that the overcomers have is a changed mindset be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind change your mindset you deserve good things in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus' name, you deserve good things. Yeah, the goodness and the, the Bible says the goodness of the Lord. Oh, surely goodness and mercy. They shall follow you. They shall follow you. Not curses. Don't think of a curses. Think about the things that are far. The things that are true. The things that are noble. The things that are high. Oh, think about those things. Don't think about failures. Don't think about your marriage that failed. Think about how it can be restored. Ah, as a man thinketh, so is he. We cannot be strong with weak mindsets. Get into your pockets and take your offerings. Before I close, are you here and you are not born again? You are not born again. Ask your neighbor, Umeokoka. Ah. Are you here and you are not born again? Are we all born again? Ask your neighbor, Umeokoka Manileo. They say the end of a matter is greater than what? Yetu inaisha opposite. Tell your neighbor, be strong. Be strong. Tumefanya kukatiza matangazo. The sermon was great, was large, but we have just reduced it.
But if you will take a few things home, be strong in your prayer life. Meditate upon the word of God that your mind will be renewed. Tell your neighbor, mind be renewed. Do you have your offerings? Do you have your offerings? Are you ready? And I will not settle for less. I know more than coming here. There is so much more in God. Ah, there is so much, so much in God. Change your mindset. Change your mindset. I've seen the Hilton Hotel has been advertised. Change your mindset. <laughs> ah, Intercontinental Hotel has been advertised. Change your mindset. It is not the Muslim alone who will buy this city. I atam kataya kuzema amen. Pastor tutaform collab tununu. <laughs> because our God is well able. Stand up as we give our offering. Stand up on your feet. Just take up your offering and tell God, this is my sign of faith in you, God. This is my sign of faith. Lift up your offering and just repeat this. This is my sign of faith in you, God. I give because I know you are a rewarder. It will come back to me in good measure, Lord. I release it with love and with thanksgiving. May let us welcome our dad as he closes the session for us. Let us shout and clap for our dad as he comes. Amen, amen, amen. So please come and drop that offering on this altar. Please everybody come, 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 come. Come and drop it on this altar. This is an altar that accepts you. This is an altar that ministers to you. An altar that says it shall be well with you. The devil is a liar. Somebody shout the devil is a liar. I can tell you the truth. Kama kuna kitu shetani alipoteza ni wewe. I say, if there is a devil, it's anything that the devil lost is you. Somebody say, the devil lost me completely. Hallelujah. You have got one covenant, a covenant with God. Can I get your amen? Can I get your best amen? Because we have been taught to be strong in the Lord. I want us to pray for the nation and services for two minutes, two minutes then I will be closing this service. We have seen what has happened to this nation. We have lost a sitting chief of defense force. It's not normal. What has happened is not normal. Tell your neighbor, we are standing for this nation. When we prayed for the dollar, as my brother Steve has said, the devil could not stop it. Hallelujah. When we prayed for the late rains two years ago, they have been, it has been pouring Caribou excess. You remember that? Do you remember last year when we began to drought? Dollar imeshuka, ama ijashuka. Uchumi unapona, kabisa. Ata wewe pesa zitajakuwa kaunti yako. Bwana makofi mazuri. Pesa Kenya itakuwa kama njugu. Sema amen. Chakula Kenya itakuwa ya kutosha tuuze nje. Sema amen nzuri wewe ni mtu wa imani. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo atuwezi kakubali uovu huu amba umetendeka. Sema amen ingine. Ajua nimeota kidogo tu nikaona wajaluo wameleta shida. Let me tell you, that was our brother. 
You know what pained me most is when I saw that he was the chairman of uh, the armed forces Christians from 1994 to 2004. It pained me. Why Ogola? We have never seen a chief of defense force die on the seat. And we have to stand up for two minutes, defend our nation. Defend this nation in the spirit. Amen. No calamity, no catastrophe, no tragedy, no wickedness will be perfected in this land. Some say me, amen. Sit mambo wa osavinya tu sahi. Ama uku shika kitu. Sima matu poke nguvu. Sit mambo kia nguvu. Shika jirani mkono. Moja. Si wawili. Na umuangalia kwa macho. Na kama asmami unyanyue. Kuna wengine wa melala. Kana kwa mba hii ni bedroom. Hii si bedroom. Eh? Ebu, ebu tafta. Kuna ndugu ni maona. Aliku wapi hila likuwa melala pale. Ama liya mkangia huyo hapo. Betina. Niyamushia huyo ndugu. Amela, huyo mbele yako. Huyo mkini huyo mbele yako. E wambia isi bedroom. Mtu wakita kulala. Apana. 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 Pokea nguvu. E pokea nguvu. Eh, pokea nguvu. Shika jirani, uyo ni jirani yako. That's a good neighbor for you. A very good neighbor. Please, look at me. Let's agree together. No tragedy in this nation. No catastrophe. Hakuna fladi ya kumaliza watu. Hakuna accident. Hakuna mikasa. We want to see the economy healed. Full stop. We want to see believers being promoted to high lungs. Full stop. Is that okay? Two minutes only. Bind tragedies and speak peace to the family of Ogola. That's our brother. That's our brother and of course the other families. Please, just two minutes, but do it in power. Don't just whisper. Don't just say things. Speak. No tragedy in Kenya. No catastrophe. We bind accidents. We bind Al-Shabaab. Any wicked thing, wickedness in the high places, we bring you down. We terminate your plans. We render you powerless. We declare the boundaries of Kenya are marked by the blood of Jesus. The boundaries of this land, they are anointed for peace. They are anointed for prosperity. They are anointed for tranquility. In the name of Jesus, in this scheme, in the air, in the ground, on the sea, oh yes, to bring sickness, to bring diseases, to bring catastrophes. We know you have been breeding this. We know enemy have been scheming this. But tonight as a church, gather that has been told to be strong. We bind you. We terminate your plans. We render every plan of the enemy against the land of Kenya powerless. We scatter you in seven ways. These ten years are ordained for peace. They are ordained for prosperity. Money, 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 money shall flow in this nation than ever before. Food, prosperity, growth, job opportunities for believers' promotions in the name of Jesus Christ. Shadagando bozokai. Rekadabagando bozuka bashandai. Our nation shall prevail. Our nation has overcome. Demons are under our feet. Powers are under our feet. A devil of worshippers are under our feet. Freemasons are under our feet. Illuminatis are under our feet. Whatever strategy they have used, we bind and scatter it. In the name of Jesus, we declare the devil himself is under our feet to the glory of God. Let God arise and let all our enemies be scattered in Jesus' name. The whole church says, the whole church says, give your neighbor a high tent, tell them we have overcome that one. Tell them that demon of catastrophe, tragedy is under our feet. Hallelujah. I want us to uphold the body of Christ. The church of Jesus Christ. The church that Jesus died for. Hallelujah. The church is a winner. I say the church is a winner. We go to pray for the pastors, apostles, prophets, evangelists and teachers. Wherever. Look at your neighbor. One neighbor. That one neighbor I gave you. I gave you for free. Free of charge. Well, we are not paying for shikan dugu yake. Ebu dugu ingi ya hapa wa dada enda nyuma. We are not paying for kumbana dugu yake kila saa. Siyuta. We are not paying for na saa na fikiri. 
eh badilisha tu hivyo tu usipate best mpya kwani kwanza leo lazima upate best mpya unamjua hiyo dada muangalie muulize anaitwa nani please know your neighbor no 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 know your neighbor do you know him by name you know his phone number okay id number come on please just know somebody no know your neighbor do, do, you, do you know him wewe sio huyo nimekupa ni brand new hiyo ni brand new eh jua tu angalau utoke hata kama utatoka na vitu nyingi leo toka na best moja unamjua hata kidogo unaomba na ghost hapana ni dada ni dada katika Yesu mjue vizuri na by the way i appreciate you teenagers who are in the house god bless you for coming for the case come on appreciate the teenagers God bless you. God keep you strong. Let's also appreciate Bettina. I saw her with her big stomach. Let's appreciate her. She came with a big stomach in the house tonight. God bless you, Bettina. Have you known your neighbor? Let's pray for the church, the body of Christ. All over. Pray for pastors. Pray for evangelists. Pray for churches that are suffering. Pray for churches to have money, not JCC. Every church, we are just one body. We did. Ah, shika jirani mkono, please. Please just pray pray for churches bless them in the name of Jesus declare the body of Christ corner to corner in Nairobi in Kenya oh shadagando bozotai the body of Christ is sanctified the body of Christ is overcoming in the name of Jesus Christ the body of Christ is victorious the pastors are encouraged wherever there is no money father we pray there shall be oh god a breakthrough to strengthen the churches everywhere everywhere in the name of Jesus let there be crusades let there be evangelism let the evangelists be excited and anointed afresh even as you approach the second coming of Jesus yadaganda bashadegana radagando bozuka bayanda let prophets arise true prophets even as you burn to fire with fire the fake prophets the diviners the liars who are lying in the church that they are hearing from god but they are using wickedness lord bring them down raise a true church raise true prophets raise true evangelists raise true apostles away with every fake apostle in the land in the lands of the world let the church be strengthened in the truth and in the spirit in the name of jesus christ show yourself strong as the head of the church you say no other foundation can any man lay other than the foundation that was laid by the prophets and the apostles i pray and you being the cornerstone we pray that the true church shall rise in jesus name we pray clap and praise the lord hallelujah 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 please i want to request you to join us as we pray for the services here for just two minutes amen let's pray for grace hour let's pray for morning glory let's pray for focus time toda dasdi and next week till niba next week we are having worship experience yeah 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 hey do you know what dates 24th 25th is it so wait wait 24th 25th is it not wednesday thursday and friday night next friday night is a worship night next friday is a worship night please come here with your angels hallelujah come also with your friends wednesday thursday and friday do you love jesus do you know he seeks for worshipers are you one among them yes or no yes or no yes or no the lord is john 4 24 he's seeking for worshipers are you one of them some of you are not talking to me hata ukiangalia kando na kuuliza tu mpaka uitikie uliza basi jirani yako wewe ni mtu wa kuabudu ama eh muangalie do you love worship as do you love worship please mark those dates because i want us to pray for them 24th 25th and 26th is it so bila 24th 25th and 26th is a worship night your friday in guinea let's pray for the services sunday services included one minute is enough when you pray with a burden please hold her neighbor her hand hold her hands hold his hand 
Just love them. Love the brothers. They are just brothers and sisters. Love them the way they are. What pain they do. Hey, pray, pray for the services. Commit them to God. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Take over the services, Holy Ghost. Oh, do with the services as you will. Do with the services as you will, oh God. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Draw people to you. Oh, Holy Ghost. Eh? Let your power be evident to do miracles, wonders. Yadagando Bozentai. To minister to the people. To cancel transactions of hell. In the name of Jesus. Let this place, let all the services be about you and for you. Connect the altar with your heavenly altar. That whatsoever you are doing in heaven shall be manifest on this altar. And to the people of this altar that they may be known there is a living God even through these services in Jesus name we pray clap and praise a living God you're not praising shout something somebody praise hallelujah glory to God glory to Jesus we truly appreciate every one of you give your neighbor a hug if you can tell them you're so blessed to be here some of you are hug is too expensive. We need to pay for it. Come on. Give somebody a hug and tell them you are so blessed to be here. Let me tell you. Never take for granted that you are spiritual. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. We have got uh, millions of people who are believers. But they can't pray. If God can. You know Jesus said to Peter. Flesh and blood has not given you this revelation, but my Father in heaven. If you are among the that God has given revelation to be strong in the Lord, please count yourself privileged. Five who are wise, five who are foolish. You are among the five wise. I didn't hear some of you. Iki tubuana si raisi. Ukiwana mungu wa meka tayako imeja mafuta hivi. You are among the most privileged. Usiwai kosa kesha kwa, kwa cha sababu yoyote. Na usuhi danganyo na shetani. Oh, kesha uko busy. Kama kesha uko sisi kalenda yetu imejaa hivi. But we can't miss prayer. Is it, should prayer, prayer be the least in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the programs, in the plans of our life? Prayer takes priority. When we are too busy, we pray more. I say when you are too busy, we pray the more. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. How many are here for the very first time? Mara ya kwanza kuwa hapa kwa kesha. Ino tumukono hivi. Nitukupigia makofi tukwambia tu asante, tushukuru. Let me see. How many are here for the first time? I see. How many are here for the second time? Oh, God bless you. I appreciate them. Second time. One and two. God bless you. Bo bo both of you need, and I feel like I should make that girl my friend. I want you to be my friend. What's your name? That girl, the girl behind you. Shout your name, let everybody know your name. Celestine. Is it Celestina? Celestine. Let me look for you, a good girlfriend. J Janet, I want to be a girlfriend of that girl. Take her for free. My brother, come and give you Pastor Sam for free. Appreciate them. Day two. Day two. Come on, appreciate them. <laughs> this Pastor Sam. Our beach day, Ako. Baka, Skumoja Kuitia lunch. That is Pastor Eric. Uh, the next one is Pastor Sami. I didn't give you Pastor Eric. I gave you Pastor Sami. That's, your, that's yours forever. Amen. Know each other and the Lord will bless you. So, how many are not members of this church? Not, not because you are bad, not because you are better than us. No, just to see how many are here. Just to take statistics. You're not a member of this church. Let me show you. The non-members are more than the members. How many are not members of this church and you are here tonight? Lift up your hand like this. Look at that. Look at that. God bless you so much. God bless you so much. Amen. And that's what makes us feel that we are like the, we are the body of Christ. Amen. Let's keep on standing together, working together to the glory of God. If we don't uh, distinguish, I mean, uh, 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 what do you call this? Uh, recognize the body. You can never be part of the body of Christ. I want to bring it to a close there so that you can take a short rest. I know some of you have got busy programs today, but I want you to, before you go, at least you are prayed for everything 
help me just to pray for your neighbor, bless them, declare to their lives in one minute, this is their best year ever. Yale mambo ya tamtendekea mwaka huu, hajaitendeka mwaka mwingine, sindiyo? Na usiombea dadako, nataka ombea na mwingine. Hii maombi na mwombea ga kila siku, ni mengi, wacha ombea na mwingine. Please take a neighbor, this is a final prayer, I like praying about this every time. Bless your neighbor, look for a neighbor. Look for a neighbor. Pray for them. Janet, she's looking for you. Stand up. Stand up, please. This is the final one. Pray for them. This will be their best year ever. For one minute. Pray for them. This is, I've got a very great conviction about what I'm saying. This is our best year ever. 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 Financially. In every way. It shall be the best year ever. Miracles. No tragedy in our life. Pray for them. Pray for them that this will be the best. Please pray from your heart. Don't pray from your mouth. Flesh profiteth nothing. The flesh profiteth nothing. Pray that this will be their best year ever, ever, ever. The things that will happen this year will shift their lives for good. Will give them new positions. Will give them new status in life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Goodness and mercy is only shall follow them in the name of Jesus Christ. Yatamo sheda gandi. Rekade gando bozuka bayanda. Rekade ganda bashanta. Rakada gando bozuka bayanda. Rekada shando bozuka yande. Rakata bagando bozuta. Father, rain, rain, rain. The rain of the, of that is different of our lives. Rain money to those who don't have money. Rain spouses for those who need marriages this year. Rain breakthrough for everyone needs breakthrough. Rain success in education for they that need success in education. Let this year, 2024, be the best year ever, ever, ever in our life. The year that shall position us so highly. By this we declare all defeat and all wickedness in our lives is cancelled and only goodness and mercy shall follow us. Father, we thank you for the night in your presence. I cover everyone with the blood of Jesus Christ. I pray the Lord, we shall meet again and again, glorifying you with testimonies and testimonies of your goodness and your mercies that you are showing us. I pray for a testimony because you say that the brand that bears fruit, Lord, you prune it that it may bear more fruit. I pray that this coming Shabbat, that is tomorrow, Lord God Almighty afternoon, shall be full of testimonies of the goodness of the Lord. And now, surely goodness and mercy is all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Amen and amen. Clap and pray.